<clears throat> Wake oh. it up. Mike, 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 Mike. This guy hating on my cooking lessons. <laughs> <laughs> on your cooking lessons. Now, yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, let, uh, let, I, let Brother Ice know what was going yeah, on. Yeah, here. I missed that. He was asking for some advice on how to Parks cook, cook, cook how, uh, lamb chops. How to chop. cook up the lamb chops. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you fucked up the lamb chops. I did not. You didn't even put them on? Yeah, I cooked them, but they wasn't as... Oh, they wasn't... They was all right. Okay. So they you fucked them up? No. Nah. They was all right. When you do this about your own cooking, that, that don't... I can't cook, though. So you fucked them up, ish. You want to get better? I would tell you if they was fucked up, I'd throw them shits in the garbage. I ate them. <laughs> you probably <laughs> was hungry. I've cooked some shit that, that I wasn't giving to nobody little, else, little but I ate. salty. My brother Parks. Oh, uh, you put too so much salt on it? My brother Parks uh, was uh, telling me Rosemary I asked. I asked these gentlemen to hit record because of the... The beauty and Ish getting his cooking and seasoning tips from this white man. It's on brand. you really want, yeah, he he don't know how to get off brand, yo. You like really defying the odds right yeah, here. Yeah, like you know, black, you know, brothers don't do that. Like we don't. You letting Akon down. You letting Akon down. I ain't gonna lie. Don't worry. We, we got somebody. Yeah, we you got some, somebody gonna get you right. I know. We got to. We got to guess one day that's gonna get you right. We got, a, we got, a, we got, right. we got a few guests coming up. Yeah. That's gonna crack ish muffin. I can't, oh yeah. Yeah. They gonna yeah Cause he keep trying to sound smart talking to me about Bank of America. Don't you worry, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got some niggas to come in here. You can talk your Bank of America shit with. Let me and we got out. some niggas you can talk uh -huh. some other shit with too. Yeah. But that why, other why, shit. Why do they? Why do they gotta crack my? That other shit too. Mm -hmm. Why they gotta crack my muffin? Why we just can't have a conversation? Ish. It ain't gonna go that you way. You introduced muffins to the podcast world. It, I never had a muffin. I, know, no, I never heard nobody talk about muffins no, till you popped up. I don't gotta debate with them. We gotta have a conversation. Proving your value once again. Oh, mm. <laughs> we never <laughs> even thought about muffins, quite nah, frankly. Nah, for real. And it, I told you, I don't put the muffin man shit in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get into your hypocrisy. Oh shit! Damn. We're out the bingo. Hey, yo, Let's get dog. right into hypocrisy. What's that? First of all, round of applause for Brother Parks. Uh, Street I'm not no applause. Then. What's going on? I'm not even, what's going on? Here? Hypocrisy. Yeah, I'm. I'm a... Three no this little wire thing of a jiggy. Hey, yo, this nigga just be think at home thinking of shots. <laughs> my, it's my job to think of <laughs> shots. shots? It ain't got to be shots, huh? It ain't got to be shots. No, though. the shots is improv. <laughs> oh. The great, the greatest at their crafts. You have to be able to improv. You might get a heckler one day. You got to know how to handle those situations. That's, that's off the cuff. Home, I actually try to think of interesting shit for us to talk about, but it always gets back to the shot somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, y'all make them so painfully obvious. Last week, Ish started the podcast shooting at Parks for wearing his Dolphin shirt. Mm. Is that a fact or oh, not? I got a am Dolphin I, shirt I, in the bag, too. I'm bugging. Am I making this up or am I not? No, no, no. You did, Ish. Is that a fact? I like to be fact based. You did. You like to be fact based. You was like, yo, you would come in here with your dolphin shit on you. Not... Yeah, you did that. Yeah, I on, probably man. did. No, no. And what... now you in here with this fucking. I just came in here. With a CD land. Can I get my hundred dollars? With a CD land. Can I get oh, my shit. money? That's, that's a buck. That's all I came in here of for. Of course you can. Oh, okay. Thank of you. Of course you can. Kindly. I appreciate that. I don't I don't like balances <laughs> being out. I don't like balances being outstanding. Look, you look, look, look at your man. Look at your man. Oh, oh my <laughs> gracious. Yo, A A E A E. <laughs> this nigga got the Orange Juice Jones yeah, Miami shirt on. Hey, yo, where are you t shirt shopping at? <laughs> I never seen somebody celebrate being at the bottom of the division. Who did that? You. Uh, uh, we all at like, what y'all like third or something we fourth two, we two on one okay but we two on one oh shit y'all beat us damn I can't talk to you <laughs> please stop yeah, I gotta shut up. oh yeah please that y'all third right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fourth yeah yeah no third no, all we're, third no, we're, better we're better than, than the commanders. commanders watch your mouth my bad my bad watch your mouth <laughs> my bad I saw Giants, Carson Wentz you know what I mean stuck a couple wins in there oh no he oh. looked like Carson Wentz the last game <laughs> 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 he looked. He looked back to like him. He, he was wincing. Yeah. That giant. That Giants game had the traffic all fucked up over there. Another. Another reminder as to. I'll put this down for me so I can see y'all. As to why I just won't go to a football game. Yo. Uh, I won't go to a football game. Everybody. See, I go when I go to a football game. I, Nothing. I don't, about, I don't leave. Like no, we be drinking, so we still drinking in the no, parking lot after the game. Let the traffic that down. Looks fun, yo. The whole New Jersey. Nah, that's your fault. Everybody that whole in little that was a mess. No, between between the fight and that, the whole New Jersey was the out. whole New Jersey was at the fight. Shout, everybody was at shout, the fight. Shout to Shakur and uh, he's the Giants beast. games too, huh? He's a beast. Yeah, Shakur, yeah, he's a monster. Yeah, wait, there Big was Jersey. a fight. I didn't know there was a fight. I didn't know yeah. there was a fight. And it, Sh Shakur Stevenson from Jersey for at the Prudential Center. Well, from oh, word. oh, what a mess! <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. so you could imagine what that looked like. Yeah, I think no you doubt. mentally moved to Miami or something, yo. Why is that? You ain't know it was a fight in New Jersey with a Nork native. How would I know? 
I didn't know there was a fight. The same way everybody knows. And we Houston. usually watch the fight. We we all, what you mean? I thought I was clear in my question. How would I? I didn't know. Okay. I didn't cool. see it on the internet. I didn't see it on television. I certainly don't speak to you guys when we're not recording. How would I know? <laughs> Nobody that knew bothered to call and tell me anything. Huh? It's okay. Now what? Yeah. Hello. It's, it's Wake okay. that up, Joe. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Why didn't I know? I bet, hmm. I bet you if Tatalicious was at Rain, you would have known. <laughs> yeah, it's, cool. it's cool though, bro. Tatalicious. It's all right. Yo, you hear those stereotypes that this guy throws out there? Tatalicious. It's all right, man. Tatalicious. And that's just, and again, that's muscle memory. That's just off the muscle memory that I know when Tatalicious is. I know. It's ESP. ESP. How was the fight? Did he win? Uh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. He He's a monster. Yeah. He's a beast. He, he was aiming for the knockout. He didn't get it, though. Mm. But he clearly out, outclassed the dude. Hmm. It's your call, nigga. You never seen him fight? I'm sure I have, but I don't oh, know. Oh, you would know if you seen him fight. Yeah. Y'all did. Yeah. Yeah. Sure He's did. nice. Right, I'm going to need you to get on your YouTube. Don't look at Murder, Death, Kill. Look at Shakur <laughs> Stevenson today. <laughs> Please <laughs> don't look at murder, death, kill. Just look at fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Take Prize it down. A, a, lo yeah. a local, a local yeah. artist out here. How, how old is he? He's young. Yeah. Twenty-one, maybe. Yeah, he's twenty-two. Maybe like twenty-two-ish. I gotta see. Is he related to you? No. <laughs> well, I gotta ask. It's Nor. It's Nork, though. He's twenty-five. So, so he's related. So oh, that's why y'all all excited. No, we just. What's, it, what's his record? Undefeated. Probably. What is his record? I think 17 and 0, 13. I'm not sure. I'm not fight. sure before yeah, they like, start. Wow. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how many fights he won. I know he never he won lost. All. He won them all. He's something to know. 19 and 0. Thank there you. We go. Thank you, big A. You know. There we go. Rob, welcome back, yo. Welcome yeah, back. Yeah, we hey, yo, we got you. our young boy camera. Yeah. What's up? All right, good. Oh, man. Good to be here with you gentlemen today. Always a pleasure. Feeling good, feeling great. Mic check, mic check, mic check. All right, we feeling good. What episode is this? 566? Uh, welcome to episode 66 or 67? Alex, help me up. Oh man, you guys, you, you guys, you, you guys, y'all are, y'all are awesome, man! Wow, six, sixty-six. There we go. Five sixty-six. You all are fired. <laughs> how about how about sixty-six? That niggas don't trust. Yeah, the fuck is eighty-six? <laughs> yeah, eighty-six. Yo, oh man. Uh, oh, man. Welcome to episode five seventy-six of the Joe Button Podcast. Sixty-six. Oh. <laughs> you fired two niggas. Five sixty-six, bro. You put uh, a double look, on this. Look at you. Look at you. Can you fire this? Shut up. No. <laughs> Can you fire yourself? From your fucking little housey gig, <laughs> your little gig. housey gig you got. <laughs> Get out! Put the hammer down. Get out! Welcome to episode five sixty six of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button. Here with a few really great guys. Brother Ish is here. Brother Ice is here. Yep. Brother Parks is here. Yep. Corey is back. Three from no Parks. Some trip that we know nothing about. He's back to that again. <laughs> <laughs> He's been back to taking a lot of quick. Quick flights, quick trips that no one knows about. Mm. Your Philly girl came home. Good, Good old Corey. She, she was locked up for a little while or something. She was locked up. <laughs> Your little Corey's great. I home. said to him, so I said, hey, you took a, you went somewhere this weekend, right? He's like, yeah. <laughs> that was it. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Young boys in the back. Yeah. All right. How's everybody feeling? How's everybody doing? How was your weekend? Marvelous. Uh, anything exciting going on in life? How's your mental health? How's your text thread, inbox, DMs, both from the accepted general primary requests? I don't use the other ones. All three. Yeah, I don't use uh, the other we ones. know ballparks. Well, no, I just don't know what they're for. You don't use what? The other, like the primary and the general. I don't understand I don't, what that is. Yeah. I got you, buddy. I don't get that general shit. Oh, my God, yo. What's the difference? It's, you still get the notification. Yeah, but. Nah, seriously, I'm not even. I don't understand uh, the purpose. Of it. Will you put the hose in the in the general in Gen Pop? I can't call y'all out on y'all lies because then that's gonna make me sound angry and like I'm attacking you guys. I can give you. There an, we go. It's I can help, give you help. an example. There we please, go. Please, yeah. Help, help, help me, me out. out. Give it people to that you speak to frequently that you might personally know uh -huh. have a rapport with uh -huh. okay, might go in your primary. Okay. And that you've spoken back to. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Somebody else that uh, you may not really know like that might might fit might. in your general. But you get the notification either way. So what's the difference? No, so what? Don't. But when you go to your inbox, the people that you speak to frequently are on this side. I hate the little. It don't red. be flooded with seven thousand other people. people in the the people in your general, you normally have allowed them to be in your general yeah. from the requests. Yes. Okay. They don't or you don't they don't just automatically go in your primary. Your oh, primary okay, might be people you already follow. People so it's that like close you. friends. Kinda. No. Not necessarily. Because then you have the right to make a close, close friend. Yeah. It just seems like a lot the, of it. unnecessary. Let's shit. just say hypothetically, yeah, you understand. Nah, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you, like, brother. I go to the request and hit delete all. <laughs> Personally, Yo, why just because I don't like the fucking. I'm part to get away with this. Yo, you said you go to the <laughs> what is ICE request doing? And put delete all. I do. Why? I don't read them. I don't. If I don't talk to you already, I don't need to talk to you. Fam, <laughs> oh, would you like to see? Yeah. Uh, would you like to see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toss it to me. Open it up and toss it to me. Yeah, so let me Open it up and toss it to me. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, look. We would like to see. Open it up <laughs> and toss right it this way. This I catch exactly the waters every pod. I go here and I just hit delete all. I don't read these shits. Can I see? Can I see? So what happens when Mariah Lynch my brother in your joint? She has a verified check and wouldn't go there. We're not opening our show with your with these automatically. Niggas, with these I don't do niggas that. Lying automatically. <laughs> I'm not. I'm talking. I was responding to. How are y'all doing? We great. Pretty good. Great. Let's get How to are you? That. How was good. your weekend? Excellent. My weekend was great. Nice. Full of TLC. Oh. Tender love and care. Oh. oh. Dick and Dahmer. Huh? The entire <laughs> time. Uh, I don't know who said that that couldn't be done. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you and all, E was bugging. They were all the way wrong on that. Yeah, you uh, and E was bugging. I'm not fucking doing that. I'm not going to say Dick and Dahmer because he was eating dick. So I'm just, you know. Like, Yo. <laughs> no, no, he really was eating dick. No, nah, he was. <laughs> like, I'm. You lying. He was bagging that shit up. Bro, he had the shit bagged in the refrigerator. Somebody's penis? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's what y'all want to <laughs> put in y'all brain. <laughs> oh, you man. didn't watch it? Never. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> for once, can we have a normal pod? Take it away. But nah, Take man, it away. You, you, you and E had us thinking like this shit was some super twisted shit that you couldn't even it's function twisted, at. That's yeah. what people say. He has a dick in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> what are we That's talking about? Normal. That is not normal. That's not super twisted? Yeah, I don't know what you're looking at. He had you a jug of fridge. bodies in his bedroom, dog. Like That's, that's not normal. That's twisted. And it's true. That's and the it's fucked true. Up part. Who created normal? All right. See, I wasn't going that wrong. <laughs> well, no. Normal, normal no, is subjective. Masses. Normal is subjective. Y'all can look at me like a psycho. No, I've I already expressed this to fucking parks. If there's a market for every other meat in the fucking world, mm -hmm. cow tongue, fucking pig ass on YouTube and Instagram, I'm watching livestock. You pick the animal, kill them, shred them cook them over a fucking rock in the woods. Like, this is the visuals that's out there. You expect me to believe there's not a market anywhere in this world for human meat. I believe it's a market. Oh, it it's still be. twisted. It could be. Mm -hmm. But when you when you start characterizing... Not on me to normal. judge the different markets. No, true, true, true. I'm just saying, that's happening somewhere, and somewhere, someone is responsible in the industry. Someone's like, getting it done. Like, like your man, you got some weird meat paws in the uh, freezer right now that somebody might think is... Not yeah, elk who, is the meat, so just for clarity. Oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But would you get what I'm and saying, I, though? I, Somebody I, might look at that I don't say like, this to normalize the Jeffrey Dahmer behavior. We'll get into that, too, here. Damn, Ish, I wish that you would have seen at least some of this. Why you say never? Come on, I'll fucking nah, I just heard turn about, the ball over. No, nah, I just heard about <laughs> what, it, what it was about. It was just like, yo, y'all know, know my stance on... That type of shit. You don't like murder docs, bro. Oh, yeah, like yeah, that's not yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said he was killing a whole bunch of young black kids and all that shit. I don't want to see that, yo. See, the shit that got, like, the way you, you and E explained it, I mean, like, nigga, we watched Saw. Like, it, this wasn't gory or nothing. Like, you, they implied a lot. They showed a, maybe a little bit. It wasn't as bad as y'all made it seem. Not saying him. I'm talking about the scenes in the oh, gotcha. actual. Yeah. They weren't graphic. Show. Yeah, it wasn't They're a as little gra graphic. It was a little bit. They're a little but graphic. But they made it seem like yeah. you're watching this shit will fuck you up. Like you can't even function after watching I, this I shit. I thought the first few episodes, dare I say, dragged. Same. I thought they were extremely slow. And I, don't know about and I got pissed off at it early on. Because I'm like, y'all damn, they're trying to make me feel sorry for this nigga. No, I got about two episodes left. Yeah, they said they tried to humanize. I'm at five. They said they tried to humanize him 
around five or six, they started trying to. I'm around five or six. They didn't start around five or six. They yeah, started they humanizing him early. So now uh, we can actually have the conversation. Now that most of us have seen most of it, yeah, mm-hmm. they humanized him. Absolutely, yeah, they, did. they did. And the victims of the uh, the families victims, the victims of the, families 100%. of the victims have absolutely every right in the world Correct. to be upset about that, bro. Absolutely. Me, me and Shorty watched it. We really? sitting there like. Yo, you trying to make us feel? You showing us the issues with his dad and his moms and the the drugs that she was on. Like, I don't don't try to make me understand why he was the way he was. Right. I don't and, need that. And that's why I thought it dragged for the first few episodes because too much humanizing of this person. Like I used to saying, you should giving me his dad, his dad's take on him, mm-hmm. his mom, what happened to her, uh, their relationship with him, the trauma that they went through. Then the grandma comes into play. You showing spoiler me spoiler alert for y'all who ain't yeah sick. spoiler we, we alert. We talking about this. then you're showing me him as a neighbor. Uh, at some point, you're showing me glimpse glimpses of him as a lover. Mm-hmm. Like they humanize this humanized man the, the entire the entire way through, bro. They show I agree the, he, he comes home from school. The the baby is in the um like the playpen or whatever, screaming, crying. Mom's is on the bed. Tried to OD. Tried to kill herself. Trigger warning, but. All of these things they're trying to say kind of like shape to, to like come before. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, justified. I'm when, it's, when it's in the post, it's like yeah, I'm a work in progress. God <laughs> got, God oh got. My God. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, like you trying to slow. Like progress. I said, it's almost like pulling on your heartstrings a little bit. Like damn, he went through that. Damn, like I don't. Nah, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm with cool. you. I'm with cool. you on that. That was the only shit that kind of had us both. I'm in my Corey, he was a little pissed off. I'm in my Corey back. What does that mean for our listeners? <laughs> I'm in my brother Corey X bag on this topic. All right. They wouldn't mm. have did that to us. That's true. They wouldn't have did that to us. They wouldn't have done what? Humanized. Human- <clears throat> humanized them almost to justify his cuckoo-ness. You know what I'm saying? Like, anytime, and damn, I don't want to serious us out. So off the rip. Cool. We're, We're talking about Jeffrey Dahmer. You can be serious. No, right but it, no, but anytime something happens <laughs> with us, or, 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 or with the white people, even when they shoot up a school or some shit, they always go to his troubled childhood, his mm-hmm. troubled past, his to almost justify and give a, 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 a rational reason why they are fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they always do that. They don't do that to us when this shit presents itself. Oh, yeah, mother was a crackhead, father was a jail nigga. Do, 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 do. He, he, he was destined to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just grew up, yeah, he was a terrorist as a kid. I disagree with this, too. I do. I don't. And, and especially, you think, they, you think they do that? Even I'm, if they give the same. Yeah, I think I, I think they do that. No. I, hate, I hate to be the guy that. No, they picture. I feel like my take is the take that Ish would normally have. This is one of those things where I just don't see where I watched the DC sniper doc and they humanized him as well. I've watched a few docs on black serial killers and they got into. I think I think, I think there's not, not the fame, not there's the, like a there's this romanticism thing going on with not white or black to, but just serial killers, mad men, murders. That's what America's doing with all of these docs. You know what? They're trying to educate us about all of them. Hey, it's where like the did psyche start? behind? Yo, they got people going to the jails. I think I they think got, um, Ish's point is valid when they um, it's a movie, not necessarily serial killers. Like it could be. Um, I can't think of a prime example. Yeah. Up with Ozark. I, I, I'm thinking but more of like uh, Trayvon or someone like that, where they, uh, they, they find, oh, oh, he was bad in school, whatever, you know what I mean? Dog, if, if a black... Okay. And that, I gotta, in that situation, I completely agree with you. I got to kind of pedal my way back because I don't watch enough of them to even make that statement. So let me take... I might stand corrected because I don't know watch enough of the yeah. serial killer docs right. and all that shit to know. I'm just talking about in the general public in the news. Anytime something happens, they immediately oh, fact. you know what I'm saying? Like they immediately they find the mugshot instead of the no happy dog. They picture. go to third grade. Yeah, he pushed the girl down in third grade. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's your stamp. Right. And so now that's the justification. But when this white kid does some shit from the middle of Nebraska or a fucking Oklahoma they find somewhere, him in the soccer picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want to watch Jeffrey Dahmer being. Humanized when he had penis in the fridge. They definitely humanized dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just my stance. But go ahead. Penis is in the fridge. Listen, you guys. I'm all right at this potting thing. I am not as great as you think I am. I cannot immediately segue to my hilarious, funny takes 
from your serious, <laughs> grown-up, mature bullshit. No. So you segue <laughs> out of that serious, funk, <laughs> nasty bullshit that you just did. Or throw it to ISO Parks. Yo, don't. don't throw it to me. I am blank. Because the shit I got to say is hilarious. I, and it sounds way more immature coming off of that shit. So y'all go ahead. You, you I want to get. I know. I I'll pick the spot to jump back in, <laughs> like that would. Hey, yeah, yeah. hey, there you go. Y'all pick it up. Nah, enough of that for me. Nah, that's not uh, me, fam. I was just getting. Well, into- just come on, go ahead. <laughs> I don't. You was. <laughs> yo, fuck. Yeah, look how he talked over in the corner though, like. Yo, word. Cause he do that to me too many nah, times. I didn't even mean to do. And, and today I'm in too great of a I'm mood. I'm in a good mood too. I'm I in want... a great, great. Me too, dog. Great mood. I and I wanted to make a conscious effort to come in here on this pod. I'm like, yo, I be in such a great mood. I don't know if that is resonating through the screen. Like people might still not nah, the think, last few. The people last might nine. still think I'm angry. Not nah, the last few. You've been on. Sh- you been all right. But I just want to. I just want to. Yeah, because I'm in a great. I see you got mood. your old school Joe hat on. Little, little, little flimsy tee, even though it costs a couple of dollars. It ain't the old school Joe tees, but you know what I mean? You got your Jersey City scully on. You might be ready for some business. You, yeah, might, you, be ready. you yeah, might be ready for some Yeah, I was insulted pie. at you. You look like the old Joe. I'm, <laughs> I am the old Joe. No, you're not. No, you're not. And you know the old Joe would have rolled it some more. Now, it's man, my Salehi scully. Yep. I know, but the old Joe would have rolled it. Shout out to Salehi. Shout out to Salehi. You Shout out to Salehi. You would have rolled it. I'm still old Joe. All right. Not old Joe. So anyway, I can't walk on the bathroom carpet. 90% of the bathroom is covered in white Persian. I don't even know if that's Persian. It's alpaca, you block that. <laughs> yeah, shit. that might be some, yeah. Now, the 90% said, take of the your bathroom, shoes off before I you go take in the my bathroom. shoes off to go in the bathroom. <laughs> At work. At the office. At work. <laughs> At work. <laughs> Yo, y'all not going to believe this. There was a point in time where Ish and I agreed on like a lot. A what? lot. A <laughs> lot, a lot. On white rugs. There was a time where we just were so in sync. In sync. Ish. He that went is off and the got bad... the Justin Timberlake money and it just changed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? This left me over here, the three of us over here doing some bullshit. No, I didn't. I bring you with me and yeah. you still won't sign. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you right with me. You gonna get rich whether you fight with me or not, nigga. <laughs> Yo, that Yo. is the bathroom Uh-oh. and the master bedroom. That's not a bedroom, Joe. This is the office. <laughs> that, he builds houses. <laughs> we have work. Right. Come on, yo. Hey, yo, dog. Come on, this forget nigga it, said, yo. That's the master bedroom. We got seventy-seven cameras and lights in this bitch. <laughs> yo, you know, you know why this is funny? I don't even know if this is making for a great party. Bro. I don't even care. <laughs> Fuck it. You know why this is funny? He the nigga that I brought in here when, when we didn't know where what was going in there or there, and he came right in with his house building Tim <laughs> Allen ass and said, "Yo, home improvement. What you could do is wire everything right through there, bring it all the way." Down, which which gave me to thinking, okay, you can put a bed right a there, a master bedroom, which would make it. Why would you put a bed there? I'm just curious. Just cause you. Why would you? <laughs> No, Why for real, all, jokes, all jokes aside. All jokes aside. Say, say, let's hypothetically oh, say. Oh, this is like you not know how to work the DMs again. Oh, no, I right. know how to work the DMs. <laughs> all right, I got it. I <laughs> see you what you're about? doing. Y'all gonna stop using this part in the front. All right, go ahead. I, go ahead. I, I, I don't know either why you would put a bed in here. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. No, no, no. I, I, I was going to you. Come don't on, forget man. it. Yeah, you. Back to Jeffrey Dahmer, swim please. Trunks, Shout out to Grandma okay, Dahmer, swim man. Swim trunks here. Why? Why would you have a portable radio here to bring to the pool with swim trunks? Oh, shit. Why would you have the... Oh, shit. Do the, they have cooler book bags? Oh, the book bag is a cooler? Oh, man. Why would someone have that? The fuck is on story? Condoms. Oh, shit. You can, Wait, what? We have whoa, whoa, what? condoms. Oh, what is the use of condoms? Why would you have condoms? It's a very valid question. That's oh, yo, Ice, man. you got to stop, yo. Oh, we know you got man. a girlfriend. You love bro, her. She's your lock screen. It has nothing to do with But nothing, you trying bro. to be... It's already one part. <laughs> I'm not we trying don't to need it. We, parts, but bro. we I'm don't a, need another part. He's the only one that can oh get that on. I can get you a You know how to work your DMs. Bro. I never said I didn't. <laughs> and you know why you put a bed in there. No, I won't. I wouldn't I put a bed in there. That's I wouldn't. What hypothetically I say. <laughs> what you would do. Joe had a guest that was coming on the pod. How that, many bedrooms in your house? Three. Why you got third? I could do my, my, my streaming room. Do, do I want to? Oh, do I, I want to turn? Room, nigga. What do you want to turn this pod up? My streaming room. <laughs> or do I want to keep it cool? <laughs> Which hey, way? they stop making stoves when they made yours. Turn it up. Nigga. Which way do we go? No, nigga, you my man. Oh. Rosa Acosta might sleep in the bedroom instead of Joe paying for her a hotel when she visits. 
No, the fuck she won't. No, the fuck Rosa Costa will not sleep. I was giving an example, oh, asshole. That's a bad, that's a bad example. Hotel, right? <laughs> right? 17 of them. I was giving it. And that's kind of oh, what I, shit. that's why I said that. Okay. Shit. Back to Jeffrey Dahmer. Go ahead, go ahead. Back to Dahmer. He was bagging him, wasn't he? <laughs> Yo. He had a high success rate. He did. Literally? He was scooping him. Yeah, up. he was also, yeah, yeah. Come on. Stop, yo. <laughs> nah, he was... Stop. But you can't say he was scooping him up either, because... This <laughs> nigga was wild. He was scooping him. I can say that, because was... my brain is functioning as I'm watching the shit. So, Man. them lines would have never worked in, around any of my neighbors, any of my, my grandparents, aunts, anybody black, I know all of that. Yo, uh, what did he say? Is See? A... Yo, he just kept pulling out stupid lines. Word. There's Yo. a dead raccoon underneath the garage, <laughs> some crazy shit. Yeah, I cooked some bad meat. Uh, yeah, my family sent me some pork chops, and, and I forgot to plug the refrigerator in, so it went bad. Yeah, he That's was just the getting the, the serious. Everybody that came, Yo, what's that smell? I ain't going to hold you. That first episode, I was... It's got to be sensitive, so I'm not going to say it. But Go ahead. I was close to victim blaming. You can bleep it if we have to. Because I was just watching, like, how did you... Nigga, what? You okay with that? that See, but you know what? I'm, I'm, leave this. Because this is what happens when the powers that be sensationalize uh, the serial killers and the psychopaths and, and the murderers. Good point. This is what happens. Ross is on the internet now saying he want to pay a Dahmer shade. <laughs> they lighting his ass up, too. They killing him. Hey, I saw. I saw. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, like I, I saw a dude mean. that was like, y'all. I, I saw the, the little like. I guess they screenshot the tweet, or whatever that was going all over Instagram and everywhere else. Dude was like, yeah, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Dama would have got me. <laughs> like it would have worked. I seen another meme that said, "Oh, you thought I was feeling you, <laughs> nigga? You lunch." <laughs> I saw another dude. Another one said, "Yo, imagine if Dama had an air fryer." Like they turn it's turned into jokes. And that's nah, what happens that's when they and that's and that, now listen, I'm about to say and something that right. could be taken the wrong way. Please don't take this the wrong way. They're gonna take it the wrong My way. My whole career is y'all taking things I say the wrong way. And I still keep going too. Right? <laughs> you figure I would just shut the fuck up at some point. <laughs> but you gotta be that guy. <laughs> listen, I think this is a valid point. We talk about how the families feel of the victims. Mm having to relive this and rewatch it and have this be main topic again in culture. And be memed. Know what we don't talk about. I don't know that Jeffrey Dahmer's family is okay with this being brought back up. I don't know all the work that had to go into for them to kind of blend back into society. And now y'all bring this back up, number one. P number two, point. number two, if you're going to profit off of the likeness of trauma that our family had to endure, why am I not getting paid from this? That sounds sick. Oh. I am clear that for this particular topic, that sounds sick. Mm -hmm. But if I had a great, great grand uncle that was running around causing havoc. I don't think it sounds sick. And that was brought back up all of these years later. No, you altering my life. You mm -hmm. altering you my really life are. now. Yeah, you are. For sure. Just for free. Off the strength of, I still don't know how y'all can just do this with anybody's likeness that y'all feel like it. Yeah. I don't. That is nuts. I don't. I agree. I agree. I agree 100%. Right. Okay, so I don't sound all the way. No, no hell no. All, right. all yes. parties, all victims and, you know, victims. Because it's victims on both sides. Yeah. I, I was just going to say, yes. they're victims too. Yeah. They should, victims everyone on both should sides. get to eat. No pun intended. Let me, I wouldn't say his family is necessarily victims, but they are affected traumatically. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they definitely don't want to relive they're, this shit. They are victims. They're no, victims, they're gonna, dog. By, by the by exact definition of, probably, of the word. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Like you going to the bank and now somebody's cashing your check and you Victoria Dahmer and they looking at you like, Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Word. That shit was e decades ago. Nigga, you go ago. put a job application in True. and you see that name. True. Like, excuse, what? Hey, and not for nothing, if that's your brother or whatever, you're traumatized by this shit too. Like, absolutely. What the no, fuck? Absolutely. You see, when, when, when they told, first episode, after he got arrested, and they explained to 
to his father. His father's like, yo, I thought when you said murder investigation, he got murdered. Right. And they broke down what we found and what we were accusing him of doing. Yeah. That broke him down. Hey, yeah. sp- uh, spoiler alert, y'all can cover your ears. Uh, at the end of the, uh, well, I'm not at the end, but where I'm at, the neighbor gets fired. The neighbor gets fired from a job because she was traumatized. <laughs> mm. Yeah. From just living next door and hearing all of that shit every night. Like, even that was nuts. When they came in there after they arrested him, it was like, yo, this whole building is now a crime scene. Yo, you gotta, you gotta leave. Yeah. It's like, where the fuck am I going? And they're already in uh, really? low rent. They were in low, yeah. Yeah, like they're already not doing so hot. And you Even gotta, the cop asked him, like, what you doing living here? We call this uh, drug, drug yeah. something. Like, why are you here? Right. Like, and I'm not going to hold area, you. Bad neighborhood, bad, you know. I'm just going to throw this out there too, man. I, I I'm ain't not. to do it. Hey, y'all don't have to ride with me. Y'all don't have to ride with me, yo. But uh, this is just where my braid is. They go get me. I don't know if I hear enough from the LGBTQ community right now. I ain't going to lie to you. Whichever way, whichever way they sit on it, they were very vocal during them Aaron Hernandez docs. I'm going to repeat. That community at large came together when that Aaron Hernandez doc came out about the representation and the narrative that was being spewed mm-hmm. about his sexual preference and orientation being cause for uh, his crimes. killing spree. His crimes. I see the same exact thing in this Jeff- Jeffrey Dahmer uh, doc. Mm-hmm. That is exactly what they are doing. Where's the fuss? I would be, I would be angry at that. Because not only do I think that this country is doing some weird fetish shit with serial killers, but as of late, you know pop culture... Being gay today for some businesses is trendy. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yes. So it's not just the serial killers. It's the gay serial Serial killers. killers. I would have an issue with that. Mm. Yeah. I would. I can see that. Hmm. Yeah. I see your point. Now, I'm not one to speak. No, no, no. I I can't speak for it. I mean, if they don't care, they don't care. No, I see your point. Why care with Aaron Hernandez and not Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah, because they, they really got into it. Yeah, in this Jeffrey Dahmer but shit. This is oh, yeah. no. How, how the real shit took place when ninety one in the early nineties. Like yeah, 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 I remember. I was in high school in the early nineties. So it was a yeah. different. It was a different culture then. Aaron Hernandez was plastered all over the fucking television eight nine years ago, ten years. You know what I'm saying? So shit had started to pick up a little steam, become a little more powerful. But even nah, then, oh, I can't then, go yeah, with that I'm because not, I'm I've seen him get outraged that. over shit that was years ago that just resurfaced. 30 years ago, the LGBTQ plus community didn't have the same voice that they have today. Yeah, don't stutter when you say it next time. Get your, nah, like, I had to get all gotta, the letters. Was, get, but that's we all had to learn that shit now. Nah, I'm just saying they didn't have the same voice <laughs> we had to do publicly that they have the today. True. Jokers, gay kids were still hiding in the closet for, for fear of being persecuted. True. Back then, I mean, they sh- they probably still are, but they and definitely have a- no. They probably definitely have a stronger voice today than they had thirty years ago. But we've I've also reason why, I can't, reason why I can't I've seen the community be up in arms over some things that happened twenty thirty years ago that have just resurfaced today. No, but this just came out last week. But this is so they might go crazy. You never know; they might start up. I'm just saying this just happened last week. I mean, the doctor. You're saying, saying give it a doctor. little time. Yeah, give it a okay. little time. Once it catches He's fire, probably, be right. they, they might be up in arms. Once that shit starts winning some awards, which it probably will, because that's going to be another thing. And the other thing, that lead actor did, oh, a, was, did a phenomenal job. I was just yeah. getting ready to say, homeboy is he did a great job. Yeah, he hit that out the park. Think about that. See, that's a shame that we're saying this in relation to. Well, this. I was just no, I was about to say, think about this, right? Let's just say they 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 run the table. What what is it? The Emmys. Whatever one, yeah, yeah, I mean, that, probably, yeah that would be, be Emmys. Emmys. Yeah. No, I'm, not, be, I'm not cultured. It would be Emmys. <laughs> it would be the it would Emmys. Be Emmys most so likely. let's just say he runs the table at the Emmys, right? Mm-hmm. They win mad awards. Yeah, he's winning awards off the death of my niece or my nephew. That's crazy. Yeah. Man, that you got to relive that and see it on the on on TV, Channel Seven, Channel Four, Channel Two, Channel Five. Because then by they um, clean up at the Emmys. Then by association, it's almost like you're celebrating Jeff. Yes, that is and. True. The success you telling the, the next you telling the next director or writer out there, yo, we could let's go do that. Fam, we're let's call, go get the next we're one. calling him Jeff. Right. 
Yeah, that was nice too. Think about this shit. This is some... That was nice. <laughs> His name is Jeff. <laughs> he's going to be Jay by the time this shit over with. Can't name me kid Jeff no more. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> you got to say the nigga first and last name. Or You can't just shorten the nigga shit to the nickname of Jeff. <laughs> nah, Jeffrey Dahmer, nigga. I want y'all to get to get to the end. Hey, the, hey, the, the cops brought the, the kid back to his house. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. The cops brought the kid back like, to nah, his house. Nah, that's my boyfriend. He drunk. It's not funny. This is sick shit. Yeah. No. There was a couple times the cops were involved and just were like, oh, like when they uh, they pulled him over. Spoiler alert again. He got the whole body in the fucking oh, yeah, truck. Back, and they're just like, oh, we don't want to see you get, get uh, you know, a bad tarnish on your record. So just go home. He's drunk driving with the body in the backseat. Shit, even he, when, more spoiler alert, when... Yeah, yo, the, just fast forward this whole pod if you the, haven't seen Dahmer. When, when, with the drunk dude, uh, the, the kid, and the cops took him, when he said, yo, it's my drunk boyfriend, oh, yeah. the cops like, yo, is it any gay stuff in there? Like, He's like, yeah. Mm. They ain't even want to touch nothing. Even like, how the police treat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would be up in arms, yo. They're, 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 yeah, they're, the they're, police let turned the other way because they was like, yo, we got to get out of here. Their depiction of this... You should have watched it so you could join the combo. No, I want to join the combo, but I just don't want to say certain shit. We got TSK back there. this shit out. My we nigga. good. You have a white man in a all black community. Oh, we gonna throw the ball out of oh, bounds. Oh, <laughs> come on, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, come on. Yo, you yo, got that teammate. You yo, just yo, won't catch the ball. I fast forward. <laughs> I can't. Yo, I'm good. Yo, Corey, we putting it right in the numbers. Nah, my nigga Corey, man. CD, <laughs> CD drop last CD night. CD drop. Yo, oh, man. CD God. drop. So still, I don't know. He got 18 in fantasy. He showed up. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't on my team. Want to know what Javante Williams got? <laughs> 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 what Brandon Cooks got? Want to know what Brandon Cooks got? <laughs> I want to fight Ice Cousins so bad. Boy, did he sabotage my team. I have the worst team in the universe. I have the worst fantasy team in the world. Yo, Dembe ain't shit. I just love oh how he stood God. on it and drafted the same team in our league. So he wasn't trying to sabotage your shit? He really That's believed. really what he believed, yo. Denver coach is out there drunk. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. He's, he's he over his head. At this point, it yeah, shouldn't be week three doing. and we watching just to see him be drunk. bro. Because he is bugging. He's he in is. over his head. Anyway. Not like, Back Mike, to, uh, not like Mike McDaniel. I do want to hear what you were saying. <sighs> Seriously. Think about this, right? If the if the cops in an all-black neighborhood are giving this, is, they're giving this white dude tons of grace, almost to the point where it's like, oh, pardon me, sorry, sorry to disturb you, sir. Right. Mm -hmm. Sorry to disturb your cannibalism. Yeah, like, yo, we're not even going to investigate the white dude. They didn't even ID the kid. Right. You get what I'm saying? Did like, they, think look, about what we're hey, talking hey, about. Hey, well, wait, you wait. didn't see it. Hold on. He's telling them, yo, the dude, what he said, 21, 19, something, how old he was? Uh, yeah, he said that. He says, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but the neighbor is like, yo, no, that's a kid. Like, my, my kid said they see him out there playing the little kid shit. Mm -hmm. Double check and make sure that that's an adult. They're like, no, no, we took care of it. There's nothing else we could do. No, the white we're, man's we're, ice no. is colder. His word stands for more than your word, so we don't got a double fact check. No, where it comes into play and what you're saying is his, par his parents kick his white ass out of his house because he was a weirdo. And he picked this community. down rotten, uh -huh. uh, black, underserved community where he could just run rampant. Uh, and have with, weird smells coming out of his house. Yeah. Knowing that Sounds don't nobody give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody give a fuck. Ain't nobody going to come investigate. Ain't nobody going to come. You know what I'm saying? This like, nigga, crazy, man. He, I, and we're going to wrap this up because I don't. I, I, we shouldn't spend an hour on Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. But, uh, don't Jeff the nigga. Yo. He, that, that was satire. I know. Shouldn't use satire in this topic. See, yeah. that's the point. But uh, this nigga killed his neighbor. <laughs> nigga just happened to move in. <laughs> killed him. Quick, too. Oh, this is the one that hurt. And then we out of here. He killed Todd. He killed Todd. That one hurt. Y'all didn't get to that part yet. But yeah, man, he killed Todd. Tony? Tony. Tony. Man, yo. Rest in peace, Tony. See, and that's where the, vic the victim's families really pop up for me. Because it's like, if I'm at home feeling bad, did you kill Tony? You done killed everybody. You done been a, a complete yeah. sicko. He was wild. Word. But this one here, you didn't have to do that. He sat and played that little stupid psycho Infinity Stone game you made up. He related to you. He identified. He was helping you understand things. Oh, man, that was sick. And he got away, but he forgot his kid. Oh, man. I don't want to give any more away. He killed Tony. That was some bullshit. <sighs> Rest in peace to all the victims of, of 
Definitely. Uh, Sorry to anybody that this has caused pain too, yo. Word. Because I, I, could, I could not imagine it being me or my family members or I'd be pissed. Mm-hmm. I, that would be depression. I'm suing somebody. I want to sue Bro, somebody. By yeah. episode I'm two, I'm suing somebody. I'm pulling was, up on somebody. I was upset Something. for the families of the victims by episode two. Yeah. I was like, oh. Th- and where did you leave off? Um, I'm at five now. And you left off at six. No, no he's at like six. eight. Yeah, Something I'm at like, like eight. Because he said he got two more to go. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm killing. Pause. Pa- yeah, no. That's my, that's my whole weekend, uh, the Dick and Dahmer. <laughs> yeah, went, y'all said, went to y'all, y'all right was now, like, no, you wouldn't even be able to fuck after watching oh, this. Oh, please. Uh, y'all was wrong. Man. What a stallion. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, some of my best performances. <laughs> what a, I was putting in fucking grade A, top tier effort, like playoff, game seven. <laughs> Yo. Coach drew up the play for me. It's an ISO. Like, clear out. Yeah, some of them fucking... A little drilling. Some of them positions, I ain't. It's, it's, it's early 30s, <laughs> late 20s. Um, oh, man. What's wrong with you? Fam? What? I'm dead ass. Nah. When you're young, sex is like a lust thing. Like, you want to do it. It's like fun. When you're older, it's an activity. <laughs> it is a physical thing that you have to account It's part of your workout regimen. Yeah, no, yeah. it is your workout <laughs> No, you got to plan the day around it. I got to eat uh-huh. right, not drink too much, have the bubble guts <laughs> while, you, get while sleep. you fucking nah, my legs. Fact, Did you stretch? You got to stretch. stretch. Did you sleep? That cramp attack. What I got to do up. in the morning, actually? What yeah, time? Can I, yeah, yeah. What I got to do in the morning? I actually, late, I, what's my I, window I, to fuck? <laughs> no. I, I, I got to go to sleep at a certain amount of time to make sure I'm rested up. You're young. You just be trying. Do shit. I really want to see this show? Can we fuck through this show? Like, there's a lot to factor in. He is. He right. They don't know that. You young niggas will get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. That's funny. When you're young, you be just trying shit. Yeah, no doubt. Put oh, your foot up ass. there. Put your ankle over there. Yeah. <laughs> now you be like, nigga, you touch my ankle, I crack it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, Roger. You know I got bad back tendonitis. All that bullshit. <laughs> Crazy, yeah, for real. Oh, we old. Hey, yo, you got Cartier glasses on with the yo. I'm, I'm still at this one, yo. I'm still one. That a little Cartier with the Scully. I like that. It's nice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> this nigga teeth. You like that, right? <laughs> No, I'm just saying. Nah, it's a nice look, bro. Yeah, nigga can't, <laughs> niggas can't give compliments, take yeah, compliments, nah, none of that. accept compliments. <laughs> thank you. Nope. Thank you, my brother. Uh, what man. else? What else we got? What else we got? Want to go to the Super Bowl, man? The big announcement? That's fire. That's fire. I'm, yeah. I'm excited. That's yeah. fire. Especially because the Dolphins are going to be there? Shit. <laughs> Super Bowl at SeaWorld. <laughs> what the fuck you talking? About? No, it's not it's the only way a dolphin gonna be there. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? This nigga stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dolphin. At Sea World. <laughs> that's, that's cra- Yo, look that's what y'all did crazy. to the. Y'all put dolphins <laughs> at Sea World. That's fucked up. Yo, put them in a the pool. If that, ain't, straight, if that ain't some animal abuse, if I ever seen it, boy. Humans are terrible, bro. Humans ain't shit. They terrible, yo. No so we bullshit. celebrating that, right? What? The, the Super Bowl announcement? Hell yeah. Absolutely. You not celebrating? Let's that? throw it out of bounds. Never mind. Let's man. throw the ball no, no, right no, no, out no, of no. bounds. We keep, we keep it. Go ahead, yo. Damn, yo, we had just gotten seven fast break points. Nah, we gonna keep it in. Bounds. Now we got this nigga on the break, on the Whoa, wing. Some hate. How you found yeah. some hate in this? Yeah, come on, serve it up, serve it up. Then she she just turned the Super Bowl down. Yeah, a couple years ago, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. For what reason? Solidarity. What changed between then and now? A lot. Now they're hearing. Hove did. Hey, Hove yeah. did. Yeah. Hove changed. Hove did. Why are you acting <laughs> dumb? I'm not acting dumb. Why are you acting stupid? I'm not acting dumb. Duh. Okay, talk, okay, but what the fuck? Well, what are you talking no, about? Just, we, we got invited okay. to the table now. Ice, right, come on. All right, all right. Then I'm with y'all then. That's okay. Ice, right, you making me mad. Ice, right, put I, yourself in Rihanna's shoes, man. Yo, the internet has really changed, Ice. What are you talking about, dog? Nigga told you go to Burlington. Yeah. If I, if I said I'm not going in there and I said yo I'm riding with my man I ain't going in there either Right. but then you saw the manager at the store and he apologized and he explained some shit to you and he said yo now you welcome and now Ice is going to the spot I'm going to go to the spot now because they, they worked it out but she was in solidarity with what Cap was standing for right mm-hmm. where was that worked out I think it's in the workings I really do. I ain't even. That's all I'm saying. I think it is. That's my point. Like that one. I'm not even. I'm not even caping for homeboy. I just think it's a conversation. That's all I was saying. That's it. 
These niggas will yank the fuck out I of I said I wasn't going to go there. Y'all said go. <laughs> slow down the fast break. Oh, my. <laughs> Wait. Yo, we invented the slow break. Yo, we got to start cutting, Joe. We got to nah, start we doing... invented the slow motion <laughs> break. Y'all niggas like cutting to the light. <laughs> 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 oh, them niggas is two miles per hour on the break. <laughs> we'll outpace the other team. <laughs> Yo, they go talk about like Luca. He really plays at his own pace. Hove did. Come on, bro. Hove did. That's all it is. Hove did. Now, uh, now that was mild in comparison to what I got to say about this shit. <laughs> Listen, I'm as much of a... Let me put the down so they can see me. <laughs> Let me sit up, fix my chair. Oh, shit. I know when I'm going to go viral. Listen, I'm as much as a Rihanna fan as the next guy. I better not see ASAP Rocky <laughs> ass <laughs> fucking with an American kiss flag on his back yeah. prancing around the fucking stage. I better not see it. I'm telling you, <laughs> that will be one Super Bowl party ended. <laughs> Don't you do it. This nigga hates ASAP. You hate it, yo. <laughs> I like ASAP, but I also do not want to see ASAP at this. I like ASAP. Hey, guess what? If that's my woman, <laughs> fuck y'all. You will see me. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. See, let's fight about that. We don't have to fight. I will be, let it. Let me be ASAP. Let's debate about that then. Let's do it. You wouldn't rather be the guy to not take away from your wife's Absolutely. I'm gonna be right shining here on the moment sideline. on the side of the stage Absolutely. in awe, letting her develop her own shit to her own base without your fucking leeching bummy ass? <laughs> no? I didn't say... Hove don't come out all at every B-show talking about I'm Hove. He be on the side in the supporting role. Hey, the internet was kicking He's offset Hove. ass when he was trying to get his family back and he was interrupting the Cardi show. They said, get your fuck... Stop, yo. Stop. Do not show me in in if if <clears throat> I'm, I'm, Don't show me ASAP Rocky at the Super Bowl. Okay. Now you can pay the camera. You you'll definitely If you he on see, the side. You see, you that, see I'm talking Rocky. about on the stage. Don't don't now there's a new ASAP verse in Umbrella. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 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 I'm t- I'm telling y'all, when these two we young team, niggas baby, be, let's get when it. these two niggas be in love, you know how it is when you in love, yo. Yes. I've done it. We've all done it. Yo, listen, listen. If 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 ASAP Rocky get up there, game is gonna go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go absolutely <laughs> fucking crazy. Uh, <laughs> and rightfully uh, so. Uh, where the Super Bowl at this year? Uh, Arizona. <laughs> oh yeah. New That's York why. nigga got, got out here and got on the Super Bowl. Yeah. I, we, I couldn't get on in L.A. Yeah, nah. He would have all oh the right in the God. world to go. No. I couldn't Absolutely get on in L.A. Crazy. No, that was funny. That was hilarious. <laughs> this guy is funny. That was hilarious. <laughs> Please don't, don't do that. Up. Now, I have an opposite. I have the, there's two sides of the coin, too, now. Let's hear it. Okay. That was what? Heads. Let's call it heads. Tails is three of us here have had babies. Mm-hmm. Once the pregnancy is done. Once the baby get here, once you settle into what this new life is like, one of y'all going to want to get the fuck away from the other person. (laughs) Wasn't he just at Rolling Loud? Yeah, he was. He was Mm -hmm. just at Rolling Loud. I know, in the little mosh pit. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I'll save my jokes. (laughs) I'll save my jokes. But anyway, uh, yeah, Rihanna could be trying to get back in her music bag, getting away from all of the chopped cheese and bodegas that ASAP's had her around all summer. She finally maybe remembered who the fuck she is <laughs> and said, oh, let me go and do like Rihanna style things like the Super Bowl now. Oh, it's on the West Coast, right? <laughs> yeah, you stay here in New York. You rolling what is that? <laughs> that you're doing? Rolling loud New York. Oh, you want weed? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have uh, Tyler bring weed for Chauncey. Bring weed for yeah. you need. Oh, a show. Where? No, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm Rihanna. I'm not going to that. She was at the show. Really? Yeah. Was she happy though? 
<laughs> that's, that's what Drake's saying. That's dope. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yo. Oh shit. I hope ASAP don't catch you. Uh, catch you, me too. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yo, just imagine. Yo, oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, my oh, God. God. This is going to be a great Super Bowl oh, halftime, man. man. Oh, yeah, that's what oh, we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's going to be a great sure. halftime, man. It'll now, be you know, with most, with most of these, um, there'll be other like acts and announcements. They better not. No, act oh, no stop it. Yeah, I'm like, they got to let her just. Ain't nobody else yeah, coming out. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. We don't need nobody else with this one. Ain't nobody else coming out. Rihanna not got this one. Yeah. She got this one. Yeah. Easy too. She gonna go crazy. Easy, easy. You can bring Hov out. No, no. Don't you need nobody. I'm saying you don't, you don't need. It'll kill her, Sean. I would rather her bring out somebody less than that. She got. I would rather with. her not bring anyone. No, I'm just saying if she did, like, I bring really out another bring female, anybody. bring out another female or something. But not, not nobody else that would take her Sean away. Who else would even be? There's no. There's, there's no. Hov would be the only person that would be like. Oh, My, Mike, Michael Parsons might be there. You know what I'm saying? Come out, little halftime, Gatorade splash. They won't be there. Oh, yeah, he's, they're definitely. I mean, he might Mike, be there. Michael might go. He might go. <laughs> Sit in the <laughs> box with. No, no, he won't be doing nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> He'll certainly be available. <laughs> well rested he's too. Have that, he's, yeah, sure. off. <laughs> he's been chilling for a couple free, weeks now. Free as a bird. Yo, yo, football player. <laughs> yo, fans of football team. You believe that Michael might be there for real? <laughs> We got a shot. <laughs> Just because you beat the Giants? <laughs> <laughs> shot at what? What's the odds? What's the odds? Yo, Alex, look up the odds. Okay. Yeah, wait, he picked the Hawks to win the chip last year in the NBA, <laughs> too, because his nephew was over there. The <laughs> Yo, you, 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 nigga you, told you us. I got a shot. <laughs> Absolutely. To the Super Bowl, not the Super like, Bowl. just making the playoffs. Of them. What's they going to do with the Bucks? What? What? The Bucks, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You seen the game? Fuck the Bucks. What you gonna do with the other with, with you that the team down the turnpike yeah. down there? What you gonna do with them? We gonna see, bro. We ain't gotta get to the Bucks. That's true. Yeah. What are you gonna do with Philadelphia? That's your argument. Then you just gotta shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's not an argument. But then make the argument. You can't man, go on first take we, and say we've, a, we've said a we might be there. You'll see. You we, have to back that up. Cool. Say no more. Any defense in the, in the NFL this year? Dallas defense is legit. Performing like ours? Dallas defense Tampa is Tampa Bay's real. defense is very fucking Fuck legit. Tampa Bay out your fucking mind. Our defense Dallas is defense crazy. is for real. We stopped Tampa Bay six times in the red zone. This is fucking time. Well, Tampa's defense is real, too. Don't do that. They're, yeah, they're I'm good. not disagreeing. But Dallas defense Our is real. Our offense ain't shit. All right, but go ahead. Check. So we've seen... Sound like us. We've <laughs> seen um, teams where the defense can propel too. you... Sound like us. Where the, where the defense can propel you far. AFC is different. I'm go just ahead. saying. You, so, okay. go fam, ahead. We got Dak coming back. We got Gallup coming back. We got a good running game when you combine the two. It don't got to be Zeke. It don't got to be um, Pollard. But combined, they're, they're pretty sufficient. When Dak comes back and Gallup comes back with CD, and I think we got a shot. You don't. He convinced me a little bit. He convinced me a little bit. I don't think there's no team with, with us he fully healthy that he we did. just counted out of the game. He convinced me a little You bit. can't say that either. He did. I don't know, man. I, I still... Because it's about... How I got to deal you, with the Rams. I don't think they'll the be Eagles. there at all. You he didn't do. convince me because of Mike McCarthy, which he just failed that, to that realize. That's that my... Is, no, that's I, I hate him. That is a point. But it's about who's clicking at the, at the right time. If Dallas picks it up and survives this, which it looks like they will... Then you can't just count them out. The defense for real. Pass rush or pass rush. Defense for real. We've seen the fucking Giants win two chips off of pass rush. Got a point? Say whatever you want. If I'm Mike, Michael Jordan, I go in the locker room. What he did, he told the niggas not to pass Kobe the ball or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> can't pass this the ball, yo. God damn, he will get You it. told me this expound. I know, but I could I just be more fucking with you. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on. What else? What else we got? Oh, what was we on? Rihanna, Rihanna she's gonna kill the Super Bowl, man. We all agree. Rihanna. Congratulations. Gonna be Jokes great. aside, congratulations. Yes, it's gonna be great. Uh, we're I'm I'm ecstatic about this. I love the announcement. It was just the picture on Instagram. It fuck your reels. That picture was hard. Fuck yeah, your reels. Hard. Fuck your uh, whatever else you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest news, and it's just a picture. Just a picture. Holding the football. That was enough. That's all. I thought that they made the announcement pretty early. It does seem a little early. Now, in years past, have they normally made it around week three? Week three. No, I don't think so. That no. seemed a little too... Like week eight. 
early for me for the Super Bowl, which is in February. Yeah. I think would they be in the in the mix of trying to find people? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you trying to find people and get commitment. But if you found somebody on the level of Rihanna and you are the NFL I'm not and sorry. y'all have agreed to this already. I'm announcing that. Why yeah. would you announce this right now? Oh, I'm you would not. Definitely announce it. You definitely right announce it. You would not. All right. I am. Look look at them look up them flights going to Arizona that weekend. Not just that, coming off of last year's Super Bowl halftime show. We just won Emmys for that. We on a high. I forgot I want to show they won y'all. All, they won all of them, all the that. awards. Yeah, I so that. I want to show y'all that we right back at it, and I'm going to show you. They, if they, all right, we got this agreement. The ink dry here. Put this up now. Hey, right. mm. Run. So they know we we commit. Yeah, we back again. And nigga, this Rihanna. I wouldn't do it. I'm just saying what I would do, and I'm nobody. But if I were had that uh, level of decision making, Week three? It could have been preseason. As soon as we got this agreement down, I think this happens this early now because Rihanna is releasing music and made them announce it this early. I wouldn't be shocked if she is coming with music behind this. Like, that should be a foregone foregone fact that That she's got music coming. But the music coming part makes it a little more palatable to me, I guess, to promote this. Because they changed the Instagram thing. To National Fenty League. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> like that's funny. They 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 did it for. Her. So yeah, I don't know if that booze the NFL. I would have held that maybe till week six or eight. Yeah, somewhere around it. Six to eight. But anyway, congratulations. I'm hype. I'm very I'm very hype. rarely am I am I do we get a Super Bowl performance that I'm hyped for mm-hmm. last hyped for last life? year. Yeah. Last year too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Last year I was, but just more so. I was, I was more so hyped that they were uh, playing to us now. To us, that was where my excitement came from. Uh, if I was a west, if I was on the west coast, I probably would have been ecstatic. Yeah, like through the through the roof. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was excited about that. Yeah. This, I think, captures a few more of us. Older. Yeah. Um, Last year was more like women hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Older. This is saying bro. older us. Yeah, yeah. Is a pop star. My wife is excited hip-hop. about yeah, this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is, it hits a little different. True. I agree. Oh, she, she'll be excited about next year's too. Bad Bunny. You know they're gonna go get him at some point. They're gonna do yeah. that. He he put up too much numbers on yeah, them yeah. boards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They gone. Mm-hmm. I thought that would be the announcement for this year. I wouldn't have been shocked. Would you kiss him? I don't think so. All right. If he pulled you on stage, you <laughs> tall man, <laughs> <laughs> you come up here. He kissed me on the cheek, baby. You know, okay, tall man. Yeah. But would you go on stage with him? Uh, he's going. Like if he pulled you up there, he's going. I don't, I don't think I'm. No, man, okay. I'm, he's going. Them pumas would be making dust. <laughs> I, I, I have to take him at his word. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really the go on stage guy. Hey, mm. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny hasn't called you on stage no. though. It's a little different. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if I'm in a group with him, I'm tearing him up after this podcast. <laughs> Wait, you said a bad bunny called you on stage, you wouldn't go? If we in a group? And we in a group? <laughs> Yo, I'm stage. Get your ass on that stage. <laughs> yeah. Man, you better kiss that motherfucker. Better, better, talk about, you better tongue him good. <laughs> Yo. We got an album to sell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gra- Graph on a verse. I'm sorry? What's your man name? Griff. Gif. Gif, pardon me. Damn. Shout out to Graph. <laughs> Graph. And, and, no, and, Graf. and Griff. And Griff. Graph Graf. Graf. Graf is from Jersey, pardon me. But when... Yo, something's wrong with this guy, man. Oh, phone plug in. You know what oh, that means? Oh, boy. He got one on the line. Who might that be? No, ain't nobody on oh, the okay. line. I just meant to start with, uh, I just meant to start with, uh. Got a fire clip for us? This, I think. Where am I right now? No, we said uh, Griff, which made me think of Professor Griff, which mm-hmm. made me think of Public Enemy, sure. which made me think of the fathers of this shit, which made me think of KRS. In the union. Which made me think of... It's whack about hip-hop. The worst thing, 1979 Sugar Hill Records. He says this is the worst thing that ever happened to hip-hop. When Sugar Hill Records came out, a woman named Sylvia uh, Robinson... Shout out to um, Sylvia. And her husband, Joey Robinson. And Joey. They owned all of rap. Washington Projects. If you could somehow phantom that in your head for a hot minute, there was one record label that had all the top rappers of the day on it, and no other company had that. 
He's right. Had we stuck together, black people would not be in this situation. They say hip hop is a ten billion dollar culture every year. That's black people money. We have. But black people rejected us and lost ten billion a year. Ten billion a year gone. Whole dream of Dr. King gone. Take it up now to um, Sugar Hill Records. All the greatest hip hop acts are on the label, but they're not getting treated right. Black people are ripping off black people. Mm. I say this respectfully because I, 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 you know, I'm talking about our parents. These are older blacks ripping off the talent of younger black. Respectfully. KRS, Scott LaRock, Boogie Down Productions, B-Boy Records. Black men are taking advantage of young black talent. B-Boy Records was owned by black people, older black men from the 50s and 60s. You would think after everything we went through in civil rights, you see a young man coming up, he calls himself Knowledge Reigns Supreme. And he's trying to come up, he's homeless, he's in the street, but he's talking that blackness. And you see he got a crowd around him. And you see he got some little time, you're not going to dust him off and say, yo, young blood, come on, let me show you something. No, 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 let me protect you. No, they were the first ones to come in. Rip off me and Scott LaRock for the Criminal Minded album. Classic. To this very day, black folks Classic. still ripping me off with a criminal minded album. Yeah. To this very day. Because I'm already a wealthy person, I really don't care. So I allow black folk to that eat part. off the album. I allow bootleggers to eat off the album. I allow people to do that. It's not it doesn't bother me. But if you want to talk principle, black people are taking it, they're eating their children. Mm. They're eating their children. This is the worst thing to happen to not only hip hop, but to black civilization in the United States. Now, we didn't. That's deep. Yo, how do you not start with this? Shouts, KRS. I got two things. I meant oh, to start with ahead. that. But you were asking for seasoning tips from Parks. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's Kind of goes mean. against the messaging in the. <laughs> <laughs> But powerful, right? Shout out to Karis. Shout is. out to Karis One. Shout out to Chuck D. Shout out to our predecessors. Always. Um, I got two things with that. One, where he says, yes, today hip hop is a $10 billion a year business. We hindsight's 2020. We don't know that it got it would get here had they kept it. We don't know that for sure. So to 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 say that we losing that money today, it it the deals that were bad deals, the selling out to corporations kind of pushed it to that level. We don't know for sure that had they kept it, it would have turned into this. That's one. And two, the black people that he named that were ripping off, the older black people that were ripping off the younger black people, at a certain time, that's all it like, it's like how we talked about the deals that Puff and them were giving out. Like, this is the industry that I knew. This is all I knew. Like, as we gain more information, then people move a little differently. But at that time, you don't know, you don't even, this is how the game is played. This is how we sign deals. This is how you're supposed to do it. So it's like a lack of information all the way across the board. We don't necessarily know that we would get to this point without those road bumps, without the bad deals, without selling out that we get here today. And I just think when people, try to rewrite history and say, oh, had we done it, had we kept it, we would be up. And we don't know that. Hip-hop could have fizzled out. It could have never grew outside of the parks in New York had, had they kept it. We don't know that. And I just don't think it's fair to put that on, on folks that didn't know. I trust KRS-1. He was there. I'm, yeah, not, and I'm, I, not, I'm not saying that. Yeah, I, that's I, not what I'm I saying at all. I couldn't disagree with half of your point more. Uh, with, with point number two, uh, you hit it out the park. I think it speaks to the uh, deep-rooted psychology and conditioning and treatment that we have received since the beginning of time. I think that gets really deep in your point number two. And point number one, all of that's bullshit because it, it wouldn't matter if you owned it. It wouldn't matter whatever it turned into. 
as long as you owned it. Like what you're talking about is how this business kind of still operates under this kind of kind of fuckery. Hey, without you, uh, with, no, without my participation or our participation or the label participation or the video participation or this department, without us, you may not become you. Your talent might not be great enough to earn you X and Y, Z. And niggas jump through hoops to, for that opportunity mm-hmm. because of where we're from. But what about instilling the confidence in people's ability, like he just said, the guy that from nothing has a, a crowd around him and, and people just amazed at what he can do and nurturing and catering to that and seeing where that can get you. Yeah, I think this turns out totally different. Uh, every and, and as far as your information point, every generation had a, like, a him. Yo, dog, I don't agree with much of what I said um, because, one, he said they were older black people. Mm-hmm. That had already been in the business. Mm-hmm. And so my stance on that is whether it's construction, whether it's music, whether it's entertainment, whether it's whatever, fam, we owe it to our own to assist. So you can make money off somebody without pillaging. It's mm-hmm. a it's, it's it's definitely a middle ground, yo. I, I hate stances where people look at it like um it's exactly. sink or swim. It's mm-hmm. feast or famine. There's a middle ground for everybody to get paid. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and so yeah. I, I agree. I, I don't. I don't like those business principles. Um, and, and and one thing I'll say, Ice, and this is my argument to even Joe and y'all when y'all say that the label has a value. Absolutely, the label has a value. There's definitely no um, denying that. Mm-hmm. But black people are setting culture for Italians and Europeans used to set fashion trends. Mm-hmm. They still in our shit now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've, we've running that. Put a new name on it. And, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. We've running all of that shit. So mm-hmm. I don't think that hip hop would have ever died. I think once it caught on, it would have never died. I think that, especially found in New York City, it's not uh, fucking Oklahoma. Like, no, no disrespect to Oklahoma. But once you're in New York City, you're going to hit the fashion industry. You're going to hit Wall Street. You're going to hit New York radio and New York markets and all of that stuff. I don't see it fizzling. So if we would have kept control of it, I don't, I don't see it dying. It might have been a slower burn to get to the top, mm-hmm. but we definitely still get to the top, in my opinion. And and just again, whatever it turns into, you own it. I get like, what you say. I get they, that. They that teach you that. Uh, Even if they don't make ten old, billion a year, they make five billion, but you still own it. Good old shout out to Theo. Theo said, "Treat every record release like it's going to be the hit, because you don't know which one is going to be the hit." That's true. Uh, in 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 two thousand or whatever year I got signed, who knew that streaming would come into play? But if you own some shit, it don't really matter, don't matter what, what comes into yeah. play. It don't that matter what what it turns into because mm-hmm. it's mine. Right. So I'm no here. No matter where it goes, no matter. Yo, what it's happens. too it's too many of us out there. I didn't think of it that. It's way. too many of us out there that cannot broker for our own talent. <laughs> you can't even speak for your own talent. You can't negotiate for it. You can't, you can't, you can't do nothing for it. You can don't, you don't even attach the value to your own shit. Y'all don't own your own shit. People have to go through agents. Why do you think that is? Labels, because we signed a right to it. I think prior to even putting your name on a piece of paper or putting your signature on a piece of paper, doubt. I think it's one, the doubt, and then two, the, yo, this is how it's always been. So this is the normal co- right. course, yeah. right? So you don't want to step off the path. It's the normal course. This is what the normal course is. So you think that's the only way to do business, especially as a younger person. You think that's the only way. Well, that's you know where ignorance saying? comes in. Yeah, like, yo, before you even sign your rights away, you just think that this is customary to what mm-hmm. the True. route is. Okay, but I speak I speak more to it today. Again, like when uh, when the, uh, the act conversation was brought up and and I raised the point that, hey, back then... They didn't have all of the information and the money and the resources to kind of dig themselves out of this the way that some of the artists today do. So what is y'all's excuse today? Like today, niggas got all of the information in the world. So when I speak to, oh, you making a conscious choice today, it's because back then in the 90s, it was back to the glamorization and predatory behaviors of the music industry. We're going to target these kids that's going to look at these videos, see this jewelry, Mm -hmm. see this money. You never really heard any of the horror, Mm. horror stories from P. 
people that were your age, that looked like you, that sounded like you, that made what you made. Today, if you're doing it, you want to do it. Yeah, there's no other reason. I disagree still. Nah, because today we got the horror stories for them same people that signed them deals. And the ones that signing the deals today, still, still. And we all vocal. Everybody's vocal today. So I mean, I guess if you're missing it, I th- you choose to be blind. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna you say you choose to be blind. Well, what today, I, today. I think it's just more so. Are the same. But the ignorance now, it's you can't say you didn't know. Oh yeah, that's true. That's all. I agree with that. So now it's like you back then you, you didn't knowing, know. That's true. You didn't know. I agree. Now it's like whether conditions the same, whether I'm desperate. Like yeah, I know what I'm giving up, but you know what. I'm going to take it anyway because I need benefit. it. The and I might benefit. be able to buy myself out true. of it later on true. or, or mm-hmm. rectify it I later. It's but true. now it's true. you can't, you just can't use the excuse I, of, yo, I, I didn't that. know this. Would, I was giving this up and it, well, it could have been worth that. Fam, Sugar Hill Gang in 1979, 1980, they might not have known a lawyer. Fuck had a lawyer. They might not have known a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where some of these people was coming from. For sure. They might not have known a lawyer in their family. Like, nobody knew a lawyer. I'm going to be sensitive to this because my family is close to their family. Not, dog. I'm uh, not, dog. I'm, that's true, though. I'm not dissing them. I'm just saying the state of where we were in urban America back then, motherfuckers didn't know a lawyer and could go give a lawyer some money. You doing this shit as a hobby. Somebody might have came and gave you $10,000. You never like, even saw what? business in this. It's yeah. like, huh? You pay well, that goes back to what? LL's point of niggas didn't have management, niggas didn't have accountants or attorneys or anybody. It wasn't a thing. Yeah, it was just you. Right. It wasn't a thing. Mm-hmm. We playing on a fucking hip hop, a hip to the hip. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. joking? And it caught mm-hmm. fire. Okay. So that's that's my thing. Like you. you uh, All right, get it back to center court jump ball. <laughs> you got it. Jump ball. That's your job, ref. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, keep keeping it it wrapped. Did y'all see the URL battles this weekend? Absolutely, some of them, some of them. Let's not get there yet. Okay, okay. Let's not get there yet. We could actually stay right here. Uh, What do we think about the rap union thing that they're working on? All the old heads got together and um. (laughs) (laughs) My fault. I'm gonna fight them. For what? Good. You know we've covered this here. No, but it got it a little more in depth. We just touched on it, but it's cool. Never mind. No, something else came out telling me that. Yeah. I don't know. There's more? Go ahead, pardon me. You cut that up. It's cool. Is there more for real? No, nah, I mean, they, now more motherfuckers is talking about it. They talking about, um, like, taking it deeper into, to like, health insurance, death benefits, outside of, like, a pension type of program that they trying to somehow set up. So somebody asked me and had a conversation with me about, do you think that us as the JBP should be paying into that pension? Like, or any 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 avenue that kind of directly into that, got Into a, that, you said. I'm not the Listen, JBP. my kids got to eat too. Nah, I'm not the JBP. Oh, that's what you said. Yo, my name ain't Joe Button, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally up to him, that <laughs> decision. That Antoine. Got it. But, you yeah, know, what do you say? Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I looked at you when you said that? And to answer that, listen, we can get right right to the point. If if ever there is that fund created, Joe is participating in that. Yeah, you stand for that. I would. If I, I ever would that comes to be, and if it don't come to be, if hey, hey, y'all can call me and trying to get it to be, I've only been trying to be a, a, a funnel for this shit for ages. But I'm always. Paying I would pay that. into that. I'm always paying to that. Yeah, you I'm still active me? in hip hop. I'm paying into it. You are paying. Oh, you know all the shit that come out of my check a month. Word. You know how much shit comes out of my check a month that I disagree with. <laughs> Put Word, something there true. that I can agree that with. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. The fuck are y'all nah, talking about? Right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, yo, dog. That'd be the worst thing to do to just go. You know, let me not start because then the fans will start yeah, talking about accounting again. Start this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, dog. You can't get 1% of your, your swanky? What happened? With ICE, officially ICE, that's made a career off of hip hop via the internet or via today at the Joe Button podcast, will ICE contribute to the Rap Union Hip Hop Fund? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, how much he contributes is probably a different question, right? I, I would contribute ish. Financially. Yeah. All right. Why you keep making it seem like yeah, you that nigga was like, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, you niggas. Yeah, go ahead. I didn't say up. you niggas. No, just, you, you was, uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm still saying, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Rob O'Neill got me rethinking my stance when I go to. Cash out at the supermarket and they asked me if I want to give $10 or something to the... What he said? 
Just his whole story. It's like, uh. all right, I know y'all getting fucked, but all right, I know we need some fucking, we need something. Somebody needs this money. The fucked up part with that, you never know where it's going. It ain't going to him after there speaking to him. Right. And that's yeah, why I don't do that's it. That's the problem. That's why I don't do it. That's the problem. That's why I don't do it. Because mm-hmm. it ain't going to him. If it was going to him I pay, I pay, and, and the yeah. good men men and women who fucking all day. go out there and, and do the shit or the people behind the scenes, the people, the air traffic, all, all of y'all, yep. yeah. please, by all means. But me just giving it to the fucking America Incorporate, Incorporated <laughs> Fund. There you go. And, and the yeah. CEO make... Uh, America Fund Me? Go it, Fund what, Me? Hey, hey, no, hey, Christmas bonus. America Fund Me. They said Queen Elizabeth owns 13% of Earth, the planet Earth. That's fucking crazy. I know we ran off some stats here the yeah. other part. That should have been That's ridiculous. Thirteen <laughs> percent huh? of Earth. Yeah, I'm not donating a shit. You shitting me? Bro. How does somebody even do that? Like yo, word. fam. Th- your man. Uh, it's your, a lot of pillaging. Word, word. It's a lot <laughs> of pillaging. Professional no, pillagers. No, nigga. decades of it. Centuries, centuries. centuries. I'm centuries. saying eons. Her. Her. She was in power for what? 70 70, years? Yeah, yeah, seventy. Yeah, but she She had, inherited some shit. Yeah, but yeah, her, yeah. her demandum. <laughs> demandum. Her, her, demandum. <laughs> Breath. They've been at it. Breath. Yeah, they've been at it. Fell right in her lap. They've been yeah. in it. That's crazy. They've been in it. Well, she man. ran with it. Then I was looking at some list of the world's richest families from uh, 10 to number one. Uh, one being uh, the royals of Saudi Arabia. 10 was probably Queen Elizabeth and them, but she was somewhere up there. Yeah. But they was all, they was all up. The Saudis is up a trillion mm-hmm. <laughs> or a few trillions. But everybody was this amount of billions and 500 billions, and it was a lot. And I was like, <laughs> it really got me to thinking more about here mm-hmm. in America and just a lot that I won't get into on the podcast. Yeah, okay. Moving on. Here we go. Oh, here we go. This is why I told Ice to chill on the battle rap talk. Because I thought that this was appropriate in what we were talking about with rap and just monies and blah, 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 blah. Oh, and sorry, Ice. I'm back to playing a beef record. I never had this an is issue a diss with a beef record. record, sir. I'm running with this. I'm just running with the average. Oh, okay. This is Pusha T dissing McDonald's oh, he's again. Back. He's Yo, back. No. Yeah. Pusha T yeah. is dissing McDonald's again. It's up. Not only is it again, it's hard. Pause again. Uh, and I'm totally with this beef never dying. <laughs> Shout out to Pusha. Oh, yo, you could rap. You could just rap. You just rap. Yeah. Because that, that gets like into a weird territory where it's like we're advertising for Arby's kind of, that but it's Pusha. That's the, so that's it's the like, point well, of it. I mean, no, he's getting we're going to play it. You're going to check for Arby's. Yeah. Well, why, why is that weird territory, though? Because we're on a podcast for a million people and we're playing an Arby's commercial. But it's Pusha, uh, so we're going to play it. Oh, but that's why they're paying. I was just going to yeah, say, that's the point. I know. Part that, saying they're not that, paying you. That's okay. Gotcha. Right. See, that's okay. You got to... Oh, man, this could get into such a great conversation. Let's go. But that's why you support your brother. Right. Like, for enterprise value. Pusha T, who wrote the or co-wrote the McDonald's jingle, mm-hmm. didn't get his fear... His mm-hmm. fair share mm-hmm. from that mm-hmm. was fortunate enough to sign or do a deal with another fast food chain mm-hmm. who's down with who's down with not only dissing the dissing the competition, uh, but they don't care nothing about all of your rhymes being littered with drug stories and cocaine right. stories and paraphernalia. They don't care nothing about what your Public images. with your images. Or the image of diss records, period. Like yeah. Back to the argument that we had in the last couple of pods. They really let them go. Right. Yeah. And when you do that, you hope to gain the people like me and like whoever True. this attracts, whoever's down with this culture, whoever understands this branding. Yeah. And I support that. And I got to support that. I want to take this moment real quick to shout my brother Ars out. He has a similar situation oh, okay. with Boost Mobile now. Oh, wow. Doing their uh, jingle for them. That's what's up. See, that's hard. Shout out to ours. See, that's hard. See, now, I'm with this. We need more stories from all of you rappers. I'm not talking about Push, but the majority of you rappers about how none of y'all are making anywhere the money that y'all should be making from rap music. 
I think they're telling the us in the actions. I know, but if they were more vocal in it, if they verbalized it a little more, I think it would condition differently to those coming up mm. and then those they, being inspired. They and, the, and the whole the sole focus wouldn't be music, live and die for this, give it all for this, get fucked for this. Akon on the internet saying the rapper should get jobs. And while he has his own version of why he's saying that, it's the same, it's rooted in the same premise. Nobody's making money off of the music. So if you're lucky enough to be push, to be Meg, to be anybody that's getting these get branding that, deals yeah, right. and just getting outside of this music bag and use your music bag for some sneaker money or some allowance for your kids or just whatever the fuck is for, then awesome. But we got to start teaching different. Do you think that's alignment? And the writing be on the wall. Huh? Think that's alignment? What Which part? Like... When you say push and Meg, uh-huh. they on two totally different sides of the spectrum. Uh-huh. And, 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 no, I'm talking about in branding or in um, marketability. Okay, sure. Like, sure. Push is kind of a borderline underground rap, hardcore rap artist. Okay. Meg is over here mm-hmm. to me. Uh-huh. But Push done got da 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 That's Push. Right. So I think that when you align yourself with proper management or proper representation, you can get in those rooms. I don't know if these young dudes know that. Or have the people that could get them in the rooms. Like a Steve Stout could get you in a room where you're doing a Madison Square Garden 10-year deal. You know what I'm saying? Like all of that stuff, I think you got to align yourself with the movers and the shakers to do that. No? I, I, I'm, I'm asking. That's a question. I think a lot of them are realizing that today, the younger ones. Because you do see younger artists coming in here. And, you know, I, I look at Chance the Rapper and Yachty getting Sprite deals and... Like you, you start you see a lot more of it from artists that are coming right in. I ain't gonna say coming right in the game, but earlier in the early on in their gotcha. careers, Sweetie, who True. I don't even think she dropped a debut album, or she or she, she might have dropped album. Yeah, yeah it's been no it's album. been an EP yeah. and a couple records, and got some Brandon deals. But yeah. the marketability Ultra. in her is, hey man, fuck that music. We get, can get these Crocs. Yeah, get this mm-hmm. McDonald happy. Get, get this ranch. Get this. You That's know, you look at a Travis Scott who. He has dropped, no, out, but but I'm just saying, the branding potential in these people early, you know, these are young, these are young kids still. So the branding potential in them is, yo, man, we can go get some money over here, and that's showing a lot of newer acts, and that's why I say the music suffers because a lot of the newer acts are coming in here like, yo, let me just get hot real quick so I can go over here and bounce and get some money. Some I'm not really trying. I'm not, I'm, nobody, not nobody, but. They're not coming in the game to say, I want to be a legend in rap or, or hip hop. I want to be the greatest ever. All, a lot of that shifted. Now it's, I'm getting in here so I can get over there. It's just a stepping stone. And because of that, I, the, the, the quality of the music suffers He's because right. my, this ain't my passion. He's right. This ain't my heart. I just want to get hot enough to where I could go get a deal. I can get a show. I can go land somewhere that's going to set me up. Niggas want to get in these, like, you look at Luda in the Fast and Furious. You no, let me get one of those. I Fuck agree. rap. I agree with him. I remember David Banner years ago said, man, this rap money is okay, but you need to see these movie checks. Karuchi. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a lot of like, people that I, you can Niggas see. is getting into rap to get out of rap. He's right. And the faster they could do it, the better for them. He's right. And you're right. Good representation will help you to yeah, do that. Yeah, and it will help you. Exactly. Being aligned with the right yeah. business partners will get you there There's always somebody to market to. The good representation is going to figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. RB, Joe. It's a country-ass Midwest brand. Let him really just go. Mm-hmm. Well, we need another jump ball. Come on. Come on <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> what you just said, a country-ass Midwest based on Virginia. Plus, you imagine as a, as a musician doing all this shit to... Uh, you know, get, spend millions, hundreds of thousands of dollars on chains and clothes and all that shit to not get it back. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the clothes and the imagery goes with being a successful rapper in the public perception. Getting in fights, people are dying over chains. All that shit to not, not do it. All of that for y'all to not even have it insured or be able to write it off in your taxes. If it's so much to uh, uh, a business necessity. But anyway, come on, jump that's, ball. That's, come, that's, jump, oh, come on, please. Jump ball. Please, please. Talk to jump ball. Go please, ahead. please, serious guys. <laughs> serious George. A serious little monkey. <laughs> this nigga took Felt curious. racist. <laughs> this nigga took got remixed. Yeah, was curious George racist? 
Don't do that. Think about it. What was racist about mm. Curious George? I don't make Monkey me mad. just trying to figure out life, man. The white man holding him back. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Yo, what is Arthur? Who's the center on this team? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of y'all's jump ball. Oh, oh, y'all let Ross slide on the Dama shades. Y'all let Ross slide. You said the internet was tearing him up. All right, well, y'all ain't join in. I ain't know <laughs> until just now. I don't. You said something? No. Oh. I didn't say that. I had the same thought. I was like, damn, them shades are hard. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I just knew not to tweet it <laughs> or say it out loud. Oh, fuck, you got me. <laughs> who, who makes those? I don't know. In your them. brain, you was like, who make them? No, I'm, no. In my brain, I, in my brain, I got to the actor killing the role and set design and casting whoever was in charge of the outfits and the old cars and making this fit the scene. They did a phenomenal job. That's how I got to the glasses. I was like, damn, they covered it for, to down to every detail in this. And I'm not going to hold you, yo. Didn't look like the most expensive show to shoot. Because, of course, as I'm watching, I'm counting the people in every scene. Uh-huh. I'm counting the scenes, uh-huh. the locations. It wasn't but a bar... <laughs> An apartment building, grandma, dad house. It's about six spots. They got this done, but not very much. And look at all the fucking shockwave that it sends sends out there. Oh yeah, they they happy. Yo, the more you keep picking it up, I just all I'm seeing is more and more Emmys. Yeah. They got the grainy '90s look. Yep, they mm-hmm. killed it. Yeah, they, they got killed it. it. It's great. It's the show that you don't cancel Netflix for. Netflix, young. Out of here. I'm telling you. I'm, they've been on the Yo, ropes man. for a minute, but they keep fighting back, man. They yeah, keep yeah, dodging. Just keep I don't think they're fighting back. <laughs> they market <laughs> They keep going lower and lower. Do they fight back? How are they fighting back? I'm Everybody saying, else keeps going up and up. I'm saying for me, me personally as a, as a subscriber, I've been talking about canceling yeah, for can. a minute, but they always throw one little thing in there. And you're like, mm-hmm. oh, God damn it. All right, I guess I'll keep going. That's because you you're when, when you not about it. Like, damn, I'm. You can't not, cancel now. But you're not about it, about it. it see, it, even when he said that, it only take one show to keep them on the hook. And that's what I mean about it. They're not fighting back. They're only putting out a good one new show every here and there. But if that's keeping, all I need, just to... You know, you need to get your ass kicked out there. You better fight back. At what point do you fight back? They need to fight back harder, for sure. They're not, hey, they're not landing a punch on It's only but or, so many Chinese... Hulu. Korean and British overdub murder mystery shits y'all could keep Facts. shoving down my American TV. Yeah. You can't. It looks like you're going the cheap bullshit route to try to fix some shit and it's not working because you saw success with fucking Squid Games or whatever your numbers uh-huh. are showing you. Yeah, but it ain't working. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let me tell you something. Them other, them other apps, they kicking ass. That's a fact. Every one of them got yeah, something HBO, on there for me to watch. Peacock. Like, uh-huh. frequently. Yeah. yeah. I don't even check regular TV no more. I just regular cable. Hulu, Hulu always got something. I don't even use that. Actually, cable might lose the fight to me uh, no. for me before <laughs> fucking... Uh, cable not going to Just got it there just to have it. I'm be watching fucking Stephen A. Smith, which I can watch on the app. Mm-hmm. But anyway, come on, off of that jump ball. Why do y'all keep putting Yo, me man. at the top center Let's, of the court? They they crashed the camera into the asteroid, man. What? Oh my god! What studio they did this in? Uh, that's what I was, that's what I was gonna ask. That's why Tyler Perry getting all that money. Mm. They did it right at Tyler Perry Studios. This nigga said they sent up a satellite to hit an asteroid to to knock it off course. Yesterday. Yesterday. Over the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this just happened. Yeah, yes. they, they launched a rocket at the asteroid with a little camera on it. Water's ball. Oh, yeah. And Aaron Judge can't get 61. <laughs> they hit the moving asteroid, allegedly, fam, with a satellite. Oh, we saw it on camera. I know. Man, they did that shit to the moon a couple years ago, allegedly. They bombed the moon. They sent some shit to crash directly into the moon. That ass. They just do whatever. I ain't peeped that one. No, they did yeah, it. I don't care about these lies. <laughs> what do y'all want me to say? I don't care about these lies. Listen, this, 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 look, look, look. Let me tell you, this is all it is. Yo, we need to, yo, if we tell them we're doing this, we get 
They'll give us a little more funding. That's it. Get, that, get yeah. that budget right. That's it. That's what I heard they're doing with the uh, the, the, the fentanyl pills that they they said that look like candy. You seen that that uh, report? There's like colorful Fenty pills, and they're like, oh, they're gonna put it in the kids' Halloween food. But then they just got another two hundred million dollars for the DEA or whatever the fuck it is for, for drug prevention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah got yeah. it, got it. It's the same, same That's scheme, all it is. same scheme. Yo, if we just pitch this to you, we can get some more money. We can get some yeah. more bread. They got some nice land in Ghana. What's going over there? Niggas is out of here. Yo, what is we talking about? Yo, Fenty pills that look like candy. You know, every couple years they do that shit when Halloween rolls around. Absolutely, every couple years. Yeah. They come out with the scare. Like people are just gonna give away free drugs. Yeah, you, you let you let Lex do Halloween. You know where I get to skip the Halloween, um, skip the Halloween answer to that question. Uh, going door to door to strangers' houses to collect candy, I was able to use. It's like, dog, what are we doing? Right. We're not doing that. Uh, mm-hmm. Now I couldn't protect against putting on a costume. So costumes still happen. And what a lot of well, people do is they go to businesses. Like they'll skip their houses and still a stranger just can't. Yeah, it's still, so still It's still, it's still, it's still, but it's. I think that's one of the sickest traditions out there. It's just really going door to door to strangers' front steps. For food. With your kid, your most prized pride and joy. And saying, give me some candy mm-hmm. and then letting my kid eat that. And then, and then, like the and then hold on, hold on, hold on. The things wait, America wait, wait. teach you wait, for, for, wait, wait, for wait, wait, capitalism. Wait, 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 wait. Give me some candy. <laughs> and then turn around and tell the kids, don't take candy from a stranger. Right. <laughs> <laughs> think I about that. I didn't think about that. Like, we wasn't the richest growing up. Think about that. But once I understood how much a Tootsie Roll costs, the Reese like, I, I, I wasn't very old before I was looking like, yo, we can't go buy this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta wait to this day to get it. Yeah, like I can eat this shit whenever the fuck I feel like. Right. If we go to the store, y'all put the store with all the shit that'll kill us on every corner. Why well, I gotta go to other that's people's houses point. and get it? Yeah, that's a good point. All right, jump ball. Too serious. That's a good that's, point. <laughs> jump ball. That's a good so I'll jump this ball. Uh, all right. So uh, what else we got? What else we got? No more. Nothing else serious for the rest of the pod. Unless Bank of America did some shit and it should let us know. All right. Are you guys gonna subscribe to uh, Rachel Dolezal's OnlyFans? Hey, now we pod. <laughs> Now we pod. Rachel Dolieza, whatever her name is, I never learned how to say her name. I don't know if I said it right. She either, has a pod. I mean, not a pod, only fans. She has only fans. <laughs> I got a pod too. Oh, she, it's just, she's right up your alley. Y'all might be related. I'm, I'm going to find her. That's right your now. girl right there, Rachel Dolier. <laughs> That shit popped She has right. an OnlyFans. What, do we know what she's doing on OnlyFans? Well, give him, give him a couple minutes. Ass. Well, yeah. I don't know what she's doing. I just know she has OnlyFans. Give him I a couple minutes and we will ass. know what she's doing well, on OnlyFans. Well, he'll catch it. He'll jump in. He'll yeah. double dutch this. <laughs> do, Parks, do we know what she's doing? I did not subscribe personally, but maybe I should. You think I should? I no. got to subscribe just to see what you're doing. I have no problem giving you your one month subscription, checking you. out your whole life's worth of content and getting out of here. By the twenty seventh, that's the re-up day. I have no by whatever it what changes yeah, depending yeah. on when you hit the button. Can you, oh, can okay. you download the shit? Uh, no, <laughs> no, no it's I was a asking. Website. It's a website. No, but uh, but if you go there and you purchase whatever content is there, it's yours. Like that's what I was asking. Yeah, but you have to purchase it. Uh, so the monthly subscription just lets you, you see can't this purchase shit. nothing. You, yeah, maybe they might be charging you to see what's there. You got to subscribe to get on the real estate. Okay. Now, they might put a bullshit Instagram picture or they right, might right. put something where they fucking their fiance and you have to pay for this. So, let's just say, hypothetically, you pay six ninety nine for just the sub, right? Mm-hmm. Then it's a separate price for all the content? Depends on the person. Depending on the content and if they want to lock it or pay-per-view it. Please don't kill this. I'm, I cannot wait for Patreon to do this. Man. I cannot wait for Patreon to do this. Oh, they you know how many conversations need, I feel need to be pay-per-viewed even if you have the subscription? It don't matter that you have the subscription. Mm. You still, you have to pay for this one. This, the other one we had the other day. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That could have been. We wouldn't have that conversation for free nowhere. Mm-mm. And no. that's the point of it. So, yeah, I cannot wait for Patreon to adapt that model. Because there was so much shit that I could, that would unlock me. I could finally just talk freely to a group of people. And yeah, you have to pay for this. Yeah. You gotta take now, you, now, you're gonna have to take karate though. 
It still ain't that though. You can. I know that you. It oh, can okay, be bootlegged. Okay. And no, I'm just saying get out. because that's 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 like a a, a false um, sense of security. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of people had like, oh, it's behind the paywall, or oh, that you know, it's it's pay per view, so it's not going to get out. Well, so they feel a little bit more comfortable saying the, and doing the, things that they think is not going to reach. Pre- the premium is to is to lessen your bullshit, like you said, with the price of admission at the door. So, yeah, we're going to paywall this particular piece of content, issue, mine and Isha's argument, and you're going to pay whatever the number is, $300 for this. Now, of course, somebody will pay for it, leak it, bootleg it, and you'll deal with all of that. But it's a certain group that's coming <laughs> here to pay for this content, and for that you'll freely give it to them. I agree with that. I'm just saying the security part of they going to be the only ones to see it. Oh, no. It's oh, yeah, no, but, no, 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 no. There are people we know that, that, we know that... No, you know. I'm, I'm speaking to those who may partake in this. It's still... Once you upload it to the internet, you have to act as if the entire internet will be able to see it. Yeah, that's true. That's just with anything. Yeah, you, got it. You, got, you got a couple of hours then, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no yeah, yeah. Sure enough. So, yeah, the lady going to be NAACP on, on OnlyFans? Dude, I see what you... I I don't know if those are the I think it's TNA. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's TNA and over there. Yo, anybody, yo, dog. It's all y'all fault. <laughs> Whose fault? You, Joe. Why? Cause we subscribe to OnlyFan pages? No. Nah. <laughs> yes, okay. Oh, I think I, I might know what this is. I laughed all weekend. And this is a lawsuit to somebody's ass. You come to my door with this shit. <laughs> dogs bark. I gotta get to the door. Got the dogs. Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Hey, sorry to bother you. What's I'm up? Fernando. I work at Peak Energy. We're a few doors down. We're in 1845. Okay. So we do solar around here. We're just coming around talking to niggers. Uh, sorry, sorry, dude. Neighbors. I apologize, man. <laughs> I, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. That wasn't even. Uh, <laughs> oh, That's crazy. <laughs> Little convo. Hey, man. Yo. I'm with Solar Panel Energy Group, man. We just coming by talking to a few niggers about them. Just seeing how you. I mean, Jesus God damn. <laughs> neighbor. Yo, my bad, big bro. <laughs> big yo, big bro. bro. Look, yo, one too many yo, big bro. Yo. My, my fault. Oh, shit. That's yo. my fault about that. Not yeah. niggers. <laughs> Holy Not niggers, yo. neighbors. You see how it's the words are. Come on, <laughs> they comparable. You see how it can happen, right? <laughs> yo, what do you do, yo? Oh my god, yo, what do you do, yo? Man? That's the real life South Park episode, bro. It was. A, I don't know about that, but yo, I know you're the dog about the, the wheel of fortune one. The wheel of fortune shit, yeah. yo. I'm sick in the dogs on them, yo. Nah, nah. I'm sick in the lawyers on them. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sick in nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I'm getting... suing. You ain't come to my door no, and call no. me a nigga. The you got to do that at your house. Put the dogs on. You can't up. do it in my house. I'm not doing no harm to you. <laughs> yo, they got different solar. You know, y'all from Africa, so, you know, we sell. Should I sell you the premium package? <laughs> you like this, son. <laughs> we give you the premium package. The melanin induced solar. <laughs> what the fuck, my nigga? Yo. Uh, Ice, tell me why 21 Savage is never doing Rolling Loud again. Because he's smart. Shit. That's why. Oh, we know is that what, it? We, what we've been saying. I don't now, know what happened. I don't know what happened, but I can, 21 Savage is a pretty smart individual, and I'm assuming that we've all been sitting here saying, yo, why you niggas keep going to Rolling Loud? That was one of my favorite rumors when they made 21 Savage uh, British. No, that, that wasn't a rumor. He's British? Yes. Yo, stop. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a rumor, dog. Wait, for real? Hey, yo, <laughs> yes. Hey, yo, stop. Yo. Yes, I, I'm new here, <laughs> and I know that. Yeah, how y'all know? How y'all know you? I hate it, Bob. Fam, how do y'all know? He... Look, we, how do people claim to know these things? I want to hear. Dog, they started. They was about to. Yeah, um, deport he was him. deportation for for the charge. <laughs> All right, I'm done talking to y'all. No, I remember that though. Yeah, I remember that. What's your? <laughs> yeah, I remember how that. long has Twenty One Savage lived in Atlanta? I think most of his oh, life he time. was born. <laughs> See, he wasn't born fun. here though. Hey, who cares? Fam, my pops lived in New, in, in New York slash New Jersey yeah, for forty so, years. Yeah, 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 you you I just told Ish he was from Virginia. He fought me. That nigga spent <laughs> a, he spent a few summers over there. His country ass. He didn't want to be country. <laughs> this thing said, "Yo, you're from Virginia." I said, "Yo, I lived in New Jersey for forty years." But Damn. you're forty six. I know. 
I ain't live in Virginia, the other six. Where would you, where'd you live? D.C. Stop it, Ish. Stop it. Just Got they, you. Just because they, so, <laughs> they, yeah, they, they just kicked them out the Virginia house. <laughs> they kicked them out the Virginia the house. Yo, Get guys. your little bad ass over there. You just mad you Frolic from South around Carolina. Over. Why would I be mad? I love the South Carolina. I love I South Carolina. What you shitting it? me? Sumter. Sumter. Uh-huh. Huh? <laughs> hey. Uh, my Columbia Knights. Hey. Hey, no. Ask about me over there. Over there, Mykonos, <laughs> wherever you want to go with the Laurenburg. Oh, hey, right. yeah, huh? Uh, Fam, you and Charlamagne was down there playing. Big that. Piggly Wiggly. I was about to say you and Charlamagne uh, down there playing. Big the Piggly pig. Wiggly fuck energy. You know what the fuck is going on? Eh? Country bumpkin. Hey, say what you All want, right. nigga. Well, Big Golden Corral. Out. You see what them country niggas just did with the your man? Yeah. Go leave them country niggas alone. Leave them country well, niggas move along. But it's cool. Yeah. I'm sitting here. I'm rapping right now. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you rapping? I'm, I'm rapping. Yeah, you fucking you right. Got, you got it, Playboy. Button Street, nigga. It's out, it's out there. Damn, get the fuck. What? Hello? You, you got a Button right. Street out there? Oh, that was the old cast I told that to. Y'all don't even know that there's Button Street in Sumter, South Carolina. Yes, there's Button Street out there. What did your family do? <laughs> Fact what, checking. What I'm about to pull this Android smooth out and look for <laughs> what, did, what did y'all families do? We ain't got no, no streets. Oh, oh, I'm about to go. find out though. You about to call Pop? Yo, you don't you? gotta call Pop. Yo. Yeah, you don't have to call Pop, Joe. No, nah, because y'all playing on the button name. Oh, <laughs> that's all it is. Now yeah. y'all playing on the button name, man. You don't have to call Pop. No, no, I forgot that was the old cast. Different podcast. I got it. Hold mm. up. Hold up, man. Then you can tell me what the m- did. <laughs> hey, Alex. That <laughs> TSK, APC. Oh, Everybody. Hello. Pop. What's today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, listen, it's one of those calls. I'm over here repping for Sumter, South Carolina. And I let Ish and Ice, and well, Parks already knew, I let Ish and Ice know that there was a Button Street in Sumter, South Carolina. And now they both, they both sitting here Googling and laughing and making little jokes. So I just figured I'd get you on the horn. <laughs> yeah, there's a Button Street. Uh, I'm not 100% that they spelt it correctly. Well, it ain't representing your order. Street, then. No, they'd rather put an <laughs> That's S. So cute. No, they probably put an S on the end of the street. But no, it's there. It's there. It's on the property that they stole from us. Man, I, I see Button Street in Australia, Pop. Ain't nobody find no Button Street in Sumter. There's a Button Street right behind Sumter High. Yeah, it's not a school. It's just there. They stole it from them. And as a gesture, you know, as they was kicking them out, they said, here, we're in the street. Man, it's B-U-D-D-I-N Street. That ain't y'all, man. I just found it. I'm not doing this with these guys. That's Budden Street. No, no. no, no. no. But I'll handle these guys. You go ahead. I'll call you later. Okie doke, man. Yeah, you too. Yo. 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 Got some spaghetti coming, man. All right. Now, now, you're, now talking. you're talking. You sound like you're yeah. on a ventilator. I'm trying to let you. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on over there? I was sweet, man. I was sweet. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> I was sweet. I was sweet, man. Peace out, Pop. Out. Yo, Pop, go back All to right, sleep, well, man. go ahead and get some rest. <laughs> All right. Talk to y'all later, man. All Peace right. up. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that ain't y'all. God damn. That ain't y'all. I was son. about to end the pod. Go <laughs> check on my dad. <laughs> he ain't sounding the greatest. Oh, hey, man. Them. Anyway. Yeah, yeah get that out of here, man. Y'all ain't claiming cool. that. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm not. Yeah, they got this button street. I know. Anyways. Yeah. It's the button street. I ain't gonna hold you. That would have been dope, though. It, it's true. It's there and it's true. He could probably get them to do that for you over there, over in JC. Who what? Name a little street after you. That nigga ain't donated near a dollar to that town. How do you know that? Uh oh. How would you know that? Pocket watch. How would you know where I donate money to every month? You would have told me, I think. Why would I have told you that? You don't even invite me to the fucking club when you and Ice go to the little oh, mixy spot. Why the man. fuck would I tell you some shit? You don't want fuck That's with my mom you that wanna... call you for advice. Nigga, I don't call you for shit. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you better start. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Come on, what else y'all got? Well, come on, jumbo. Well, going back to the ring, I I, I read that it was uh, Udoka. Is, that's how we got found out was from a ring conversation. I thought that's what you were going to play. I don't think it's leaked yet, but I wasn't sure if you had a little. They saying it's a white girl too. Uh oh. No, they say. 
I said that. And Fam, they said it's on. half a football team. <laughs> a lot of girls? Yes. What? In the Boston organization? Son, they said he was, he was running through them. They said, yo, they told him, yo, chill. He's handsome. I know. Yeah, and, and, it's, and I just took him to the finals. Fam, they said they told nah, him. No, tearing something down before the finals. <laughs> that might be how he was playoffs, <laughs> preseason, <laughs> warm-ups. Yo, fam, no disrespect. <laughs> we got years of looking at Brad Stevens and Danny Ainge running around here. Mm-hmm. You don't think they was tearing y'all think down them like white, that? Y'all think them white girls? <laughs> Man. They seen that coming. All right, see, now I got to make it serious. Them Cape Verdeans. Now I got to make it serious. Y'all did it. Y'all made me make it serious now. And I told y'all, as as a people, if y'all want us to stop bringing race into everything, then pay us and we'll stop (laughs) doing it. But until then, all of this shit is applicable. So sorry, y'all got to deal with this. Here we go. Let's Fucking do it! <laughs> what is this guy? I, I'm dying to know. I don't know what okay. he's talking Oh come on, man! You know us. Female privilege is at it again. <laughs> How can you lynch the brother and protect the snow bunny? <laughs> oh, I seen it. Was okay. she a victim here? <laughs> Isn't this the same old slave plantation narrative of the innocent slave master's wife being yeah. molested by the sexually yeah. uncontrolled black monster? Yeah! When the truth of the matter is that she's just as culpable as he is. <laughs> Wake that fact, up! I'm of the opinion that the husband used his wife to destroy the self-confident first year up and coming <laughs> black <laughs> Nobody has always been used to do the bidding of the white power structure's never-ending war against African alpha males. Everyone knows just how racist the Celtics organization was and is. Additionally, Brad Stevens was jealous Yudoka did in one year what he couldn't do in several. (laughs) Yudoka was wrong cheating on his wife at all, and definitely not with a snow bunny. Nonetheless, this was an inside job. Hey, black men don't cheat, so I'm with that. Hey, yo, dog. Listen. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm with that. They set him up. They set him up. Ish. They went crazy. Ish yeah. to, that, to that, you say what? <laughs> Was that a white girl? I don't know, don't but I, <laughs> they convinced me. <laughs> I, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Like, I've, keep who, it a buck. You whoever know whoever do leaked that shit mm-hmm. need, to, need to get a penalty. Whoever leaked the information needs to get like penalized. Ring, the ring they camera. said it was the dude. No, they said it was the, the chick's husband. That leaked all Hayden. information. Hayden. Hayden. Yeah, Hayden. So, yo, you did something detrimental to the team. Yo, you hear us. <laughs> conduct <laughs> detrimental to the team. Yeah. That's conduct detrimental to the team. We keep that in house. You don't let that out. Mm. You might fuck around and miss the playoffs now. Fuck around with you. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm keeping a buck with you. That was handled horribly. That's pride and ego. Yo, fam, your wife was Chose. not a victim. He blew the Chose. whole shit up. Your wife was not a victim. She was a volunteer. He said, so guess if what? if it is consensual sex, I don't see why he should only be penalized. Especially yo. if she was an employee. You know what, man? I'm with you now. You convinced me, yo. I'm 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 a panda with you. <laughs> I'm a panda with you, yo. This gentleman is 34 years old. Mm. We have seen the recent uprise of these very young NFL and NBA. This is the first, maybe the first taste for N- the NBA. Mm. The NFL has adopted this sooner. But we've seen the uptick in young 33, 34-year-old coaches having success. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Having success. Mm-hmm. Because of that, it forces y'all to adopt some of this shit. And when you adopt it, you got to adopt all of it. At 34, I was swaggy. My dick was jumping when the wind went by. (laughs) Duncan. And at 34, I was doing a lot of shows in Boston. (laughs) I understand how Boston could get tricky a little bit. Mm, Yeah. (laughs) They be fine out there in the town closed at a certain time. (laughs) That's facts. Hey, Boston is a lot of the athletes. I've been to a few of the mansion parties out there. Yeah, yeah. I seen it with my own eyes. So all I'm saying is, now you got a young, fly, handsome nigga who's bringing a different type of attention to the team. True. Mm-hmm. And they're winning. My wife is courtside. My fiance is courtside. She's of that ilk. I'm of that ilk. It's different now. You're going to have to maybe deal with 
A cheating scandal. A little bit of fucking. Just Damn. a little fucking. And we know women. We sound like such misogynist assholes. I ain't said a word. Yo, we know women. <laughs> well, you wouldn't. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sure wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yo, no. dog. Women want what the other fly chick got. So they look at that knee like, oh, word, he got that. Let me, let me go on over there and sample them collard greens. Listen, a lot of late nights in the facility. Yeah. Which facility? Running back to tape. That's all. Yeah. You know what the tape do. Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying that they should have a little more understanding. They might have. They put it out. They put it out. The only reason I'm, oh, I'm, 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 standing, I'm, standing, I'm standing on this is because they put they it put out. They put it out. And that's what I'm saying. That's what out. he was just saying. You said they the person who, who leaked it, they, they should be reprimanded. Yeah, that motherfucker was hurt, man. Yeah, and listen, let's get to the real shit. Nah, niggas act. Which is, as a husband, why you wasn't handling your hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it made you doka couldn't come take your wife. Hey, if he took her, that wasn't your wife. She wanted to go. Yeah. Hey, if he took her, that wasn't your girl. I mean, True. Pre- How about that? Hey, man. Wow. Wow. I'm, that's, I'm standing by that all day long. And if she don't get fired or suspended. I know, because you normally do the taking. You take you be taking these niggas, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to stand by it. Your whole life existence would fall under forensic forensic viewing. <laughs> it's potting. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm part of the way. But nah, I just think that like, like if there's no punishment passed down to the chick, that's gonna be crazy. Mm. He, he got a lawsuit. But they spun it though and made him look like the the angry black dude and was sending some nasty text messages or something. Now shit. y'all lowering my salary. Yeah, the fuck all out of here. That. Fuck all out of here. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yes, you're not. Disgusting. No, you're not. I thought we would have been got the, the T by now. The deets. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Slowly but surely. It'll come out. Yeah. I hope he fired it a little bit. Leave. Say fuck them niggas. Can't. Why? His contract says he can't. See how that worked? <laughs> You're wrong here like you was I'm wrong playing. here. <laughs> There's language in this contract. It's a joke, yo, but but I'm talking about back to serious. There's language in this contract somewhere that say probably for the Celtics in the Celtics advantage. If you fuck all our women, point, you could you have to go. They, they, <laughs> every contract has that code of conduct, some uh-huh. shit in there. If you do this, if you do that, if you do this, you gotta get out of here. Six nine African nigga just around here slaying the whites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just him and Adam Levine. Man. Yo, you gotta go. You gotta go. Well, I've been on Adam Levine. <laughs> still, he got the poor go. guy was just horny on a late night in the DMs, and they, they're making him out to be some sort of monster. Adam Levine was bugging. Me. I need. <laughs> yeah. Yo, but I ain't shoot him no bell. Adam Levine was bugging. I'm gonna shoot my man Ume some bell. You know what I mean? That's funny though. Dog, I heard about. We that. need. We need to wake it up on Brett Favre still. That's facts. That, so. That's nuts. That, that's my point. It just got swept right under Red the Red Favre, Shakira, all of them. Get them all. I ain't knocking Shakira, Joe. She said she ain't do it, I know. I still ain't knocking her. If she did it. <laughs> on brand. Hips don't lie. <laughs> on, on brand. Nah, it ain't even that. Or lack of hips don't hips? lie for him. Lack of hips. <laughs> <laughs> Being hipless don't lie. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, that's funny. Come on. That's hard. Come on. Yo. Oh, come on, you guys. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, my. All right, what else? What else? What else? What else? All right, so we don't know why 21 Savage is not doing Rolling Loud ever again. We didn't hear any stories out of Rolling Loud, really, did we? No. Um, ain't nobody go to jail. That's good. Yeah, it's a good thing. That's, all, yeah, that's, that's, where, I was, that's where I was going with it. No, no well, that's because New York kept all the niggas off of it anyway. Yeah. YPD uh, said, no, y'all not performing. True, 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 true. Oh, for real? Yeah. They hated on all the, uh, all the New York drill rappers. They said, no, nope, Rikers nope, 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 already nope, full nope, enough, nigga. They told Rolling Loud, pull them all off. Oh, shit. And then Rolling Loud, of course, complies because they're like, hey, man, we still want to do business with y'all. So we're in this city. So, yeah, we'll comply. Shit. I ain't not know that. Yeah, I they, know they, that they kicked a couple, uh, 22 Gs. Uh, I forget. It was about four four names, four or five that New they York said could not. That the NYPD contacted Rolling Loud and said, yo, these right here can't perform. And Rolling Loud said, okay. I'm not mad at anybody in this, but I hate this entire story. I, I'm mad at somebody. I hate the fact that the, the town has enough power to do that. If yeah. these people didn't break any laws or are not necessarily, um, you know, under any indictments or have any warrants or anything for their arrest, from a business standpoint, nah. what do you do? I'm talking about the town. Oh, if I'm rolling no. loud, I said yes. Okay. I comply if I'm rolling loud. 
Like, I don't and even but know wait, if... But wait, but wait. And if you're the police... Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Don't make me argue on defense of the police, please. No, I'm just saying, like, yo, what, what, what tends to happen is... um. We lose our rights with certain shit, and then other people have their rights. Like you, you, we sitting around fighting for gun reform after motherfuckers is getting their face shot off or schools are getting shot up. We arguing for gun reform, who but you can now ball, say, yo. who, passed, "Who passed in the ball?" You start talking about it. Fuck. It's cool. Never mind. You just take everything to the most serious. I didn't. We fighting for gun reform now, bro. Help me. Listen out. to what I'm. I was making a, a, a an example. Give it to me. <laughs> on one end, somebody could argue gun reform after all these tragedies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a whole group of people that say no. Mm-hmm. These four rappers, these young kids, whatever their content may be, now just didn't get a check because somebody said, nah, I don't want them on here. You don't see the... the, the, the I do. <laughs> yeah, you're going to make me argue. I, I'm this. trying not to. Yeah, here, I'm, I'm trying to. And I'm not trying to too. not. But like... I'm not going to put it, let's just say in general. I'm going to generally speak. Mm-hmm. If we've been dealing with issues from certain camps, or we might know, we might have more information than Rolling Loud knows. So if, if this group is there and that group is there, there's a potential for some shit to happen. That makes sense. You're right. I'm wrong. So. I'm wrong? Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I want, I want a police department that will attempt to be preventative. Proactive. Yeah, y'all don't have to have charges for me to know that your people and your people Can't shouldn't be, be at the room. venue together. True. We just lost a rapper. No, you're in peace. I, yeah. you're right. I'm wrong. That makes sense. And I'd love an update. Or or what? What, his case? Anything involving the murder of Drake Hill. You won't get one. They're going to settle. And sign some documents to say that they can't, uh, you know disclose what I mean? Disclose ancient information. information. Absolutely. Jump ball. Come on. Y'all did it again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now we keep y'all up pros. <laughs> hey, 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 Ian, help yeah. me out, buddy. Oh, you got a suit on. Never mind. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. serious, though? <laughs> you niggas are. Grow down. <laughs> Would you grow down? These niggas will skew up. Oh, man. So nothing else memorable happened at Rolling Loud that we need to take away. Um, I saw a lot of people complimenting um, Offset. He he was brought out as a special guest and he had like an amazing performance. I heard, but I mean, uh, Nikki smoked it. Okay, I think she had the first night, uh, Friday night, and absolutely killed it. But it was a very um, Low key, I don't want to say low key, but it, it, we didn't have any. Uh, how can I say it? You know, it's like no news is good news, mm. something like that. Yeah, I like that. Gotcha. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's there was no major stories coming out of oh this happened, that happened. So, and and what's been happening with Rolling Louds, as we know, some I kind of take that as a win. That's true. Because that most true. most of the news for like the last four or five. Have been, it's been some negative shit. Yeah. yeah, it's been yeah negative shit. That's true. And I, on top of it being in New York, you know what I'm saying? Restricted, like yeah. So I'm, true, I'm, true. that's a win. That's true. He's definitely. I'll right. take it. Boy, you niggas had the streets of New York fucked up all weekend, man. Jesus, what a mess. How much money you spent? What none. Stay then. Uh, hanging out with these fucking, mad. these fucking shitting me. <laughs> Everywhere I went, it seemed like when I went out to smoke, Lil Uzi's fucking bulletproof little Kanye truck was following me around. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm, I'm going to go in the house. And everywhere it went, it just stood in the middle of the street, blocked all the traffic, had mad big-ass security guards stand on the side of it for 30 minutes. It's like, yeah, yeah what are we doing? I, I got to go, yo. <laughs> With my girl. Like, we out. I mean, it, y'all, got, y'all got it. Streets got it. That was Saturday night in Say Less. Mm. Saturday night in Say oh, Less. It looked that. like fucking, yeah. You can imagine that. Yeah, but I forgot. I forgot it's rolling loud, niggas outside. I'm not planning around rolling loud. I'm not going to say less on a Saturday night. No rolling loud. Yeah, no. I'm good. I got to say less and said. Say less. Say less. <laughs> say less. And I'm Biden gone. was here, so you know what I mean? The he was UN. probably there, too. He was probably at Say Less, Y'all got too. the streets, yo. Biden was at Say Less? Y'all yeah, got so. the streets. The streets was a mess. Just fucked up. 
I didn't spend no money. I ain't going to one strip club. Not that's one strip good club. Good for you, man. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you should have just took in some Broadway shit or something, you know what I mean, with your lady. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> that's you you do that. And she might not want to do that. So. Um, we ain't it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do that. You said call me for some advice. I Common is on in on Broadway in November. Oh yeah? Round of applause. Round of applause. Shout out to Common. Dope. Super dope. Yeah. We'll cover that in November. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that'll be big news. Uh what else? What else? What else? Uh Summer Madness or Larsa Pippen? <laughs> what Larsa Pippen did, man. Man. Please inform him. She's she she did more? She's Lar- Larsa Pippening. <laughs> you were. With Jordan's son, anywhere that they could be seen. Tooting her little ass around in his pelvic area mm-hmm. publicly. Yes. They had, they had yes. catch steak. Yes. They have roller loud. They uh-huh. over here. They over there. Anywhere where paparazzi can catch them, they are they catching there. them. And yeah. they look all lovey dovey. Oh, it's beef runs. Larsa deep. Pippen, you are fucking disgusting. And you need to get the fuck out of here. You like Adam 22. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, you remember Auntie? At one point, she had to be called Auntie. She gotta go, yo. She, she gotta go. She gotta At go. one point, she had to be called Auntie. But she need to go. Enough with Future and now this and now anybody young popping in rap that you could associate yourself with. Y'all laughed at me when I told y'all Kim K was white again. It was just, oh, I didn't see it. I don't understand. Do y'all, do y'all no, still not understand? I didn't I laugh. I said, nigga, I spoke on it. Hello. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, send him up. My man. Thanks, man. Nah, I... I spoke on it. Like, how they have the ability to weave in and out. Yeah, like, or, or oh, no, turn it always, back completely. You always, you always speak on that. Yeah, like but that. when I brought up about Kim specifically, you didn't... You know what I'm saying? I don't like, think you saw it yet, but if you look now, it, that yeah, shit is... Do yeah, you yeah. see now? You're not seeing now. Plain as day mm-hmm. now, boy. I saw somebody put... They had the little... Like a size four? Like a size four. Back and forth. You could definitely see it. Dolce & Gabbana, Italy, the whole shit. I need a doc on the, deter- uh, the deterioration of Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton's relationship. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. You don't think... Come on, y'all. Do the... Y'all forgot it. Totally forgot it. Please. Paris Hilton. Oh, please. No, I need an in-depth really? doc about it. I need to see it, see it. See what happened? Mm. Yeah, for real, for real, for real. They, they, uh, oh, there you go right there. So, Chip is here. Uh-oh. Do, 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 uh, there you, there here. you go. Right. It's not something light. Light little week. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga like ain't breaking sweat all weekend. <laughs> or Nigga boy did all right, man. All right, Summer yeah, Madness. Come on, Summer yeah, Madness. Did. Let's get to it. Summer Madness. Summer Madness, man. Summer Madness. <sighs> Well, first off, I was wrong again on some. I'm tired. I'm just tired of being wrong about shit, though. I was wrong too. I was wrong, man. I was wrong about I, I mad said, shit. I said uh, Swamp was just gonna die a horrible death at Summer Madness. He Quite didn't. the opposite. He didn't. <laughs> the exact opposite. Quite the opposite. He didn't. Like I'm. I'm he was alive. He, I was just amazed to see Tay Rock as such a veteran and a legend in the game. Make such rookie emotional mistakes. It fucked me up. I never expect that from him. Like same. You got down there. You made the same. comment about you. You eat raccoon meat. You in North Carolina battling the South Carolina nigga. Cool. The he, crowd. He he dwelled on it though. Yeah, yeah, but the crowd let him know. Cool. Hey, nigga, we, we eat love, raccoon meat we, too. We love that coon down here. <laughs> Then he was like, oh, y'all niggas must eat that shit too. And he doubled, tripled, quadrupled down on it. To the audience. To the audience. Yeah. Like, it took him out of his, his shit. Like, he cared more about them responding to that than it seemed like the actual battle. To the point where he's on stage like, yo, I can't wait to catch one of you niggas outside. Because that's how much of a non-factor his opponent was in front of him. Yeah, but th- but th- that underestimate. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's the mistake. rookie yeah. mistake. Tay Rock don't make that mistake. Yeah, he had just killed his opponent too much, so it's like, let me focus on y'all now. And then you, but you didn't kill him. And you it didn't wasn't give him, a is he dead? Yeah, kick. You didn't give it. You didn't. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. That shouldn't happen from Tay Rock. Tay Rock should dismantle Swamp it should, anywhere, any day, man, anytime. I don't care. You could dismantle and, and the crowd. You still like you still you, supposed you, to dismantle Swamp. Yes. I, Facts. My initial thought was, if Swamp even makes this debatable, Tay Rock lost. Yeah, I understand yeah, I, why you would say that. You, it's just 
I think the crowd had them. Uh, the vote had them winning. What when when I saw um, when they gave their first recap of the vote, it was like it was tied. It's fifty fifty, and even that mm-hmm. to me was bullshit. That yeah. was popularity. But you know the votes yeah. continue after they announced that, and Tay Rock won the votes. But you know he would. Uh, but watching it live, Sugar, feel that way. Sugar apparently I owe an apology again. I was going to call Sugar. Sugar won that one. Sugar, no, 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 no. It wasn't just a win. You're right. I owe Sugar an apology. <laughs> I don't know why I bet against him every time. I have no clue. Well, I do, I do know why. Why? Because I don't think he's good enough to win every time I oh. bet against him. Okay. It's not a good Saturday. I no, he's had a good... No, he's had a good run. Little, he's been on a little run. He yeah, he's been on a run. He ain't lost a round in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just this month alone. He yeah, had no, three he's, he's been on a run. I look stupid. Mm. I look stupid. Let's go, Shug. I look stupid. I do. Shout out to Shug. And it's Jersey, yo. Don't, don't bet against Jersey, Joe. Don't do that. Like, oh, the dude from Jersey? You know, I don't know battle rap like that. When, so, I, well, when I wasn't liking Shug, I ain't know where he was from. I don't care about that. <laughs> But now then you know. I found out he was from Jersey. Then I had to stick with my dislike. No. <laughs> I'm t- listen. I hear you. That's I'm you. telling you about me ages ago. Not any time gotcha. recently. I fuck with Shug. Got it. Uh, now, I just didn't think that he would win this battle, especially not in this decisive of a manner. Mm. I've never known Shug to be like a lyricist, and that don't really matter. It don't really matter. Shug did that but you know what? It's not just Shug. I bet against DNA every time and lose. Every time and lose. Like, there's a few niggas I bet, I bet against and just be wrong every fucking time. But that's fine. He Chess. Shouts to Ars. Just be there. Chess. I thought would handle his. They say you were sick or something, right? Oh, I, please. I I'm, hear that I'm sick of that. I don't want to hear that. I'm sick I'm of sorry. that. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear that. I'm sick of that. All that throw up <laughs> shit. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. I don't know what the that. fuck you ate the night before, what you done drank. I don't get How you turned fuck up. About All of, none that of that throw up shit, nigga. When, it's t- when you stand in there, you stand in there. That's I don't want to see your body ailments. Yeah. I feel you. Move. I, yeah. Yeah, no. Move. Go to a hospital, nigga. Hackensack Hospital. Go check in the ER. Go do something. Get the fuck out of a smack venue if your health isn't right. Nigga, this summer Talk about I, I said yo. Nigga, about I none said of that. go. <laughs> go. Not I said yo. I said no. Boom. <laughs> and I like chess. I fuck with chess. Yeah, nah, One chess. of the better pins for me. He, he does with the young, but nah. Get the fuck out of here. Move, nigga. Fucking gun title niggas. You niggas went out there and thought it was gun title weekend. That's what <laughs> I happened. Mean, it looked like it was going to be gun title weekend. If surf don't do surf, it was, yeah. yeah, did, yeah, yeah did, easy, did easy win? Yes. In decisive manner. Yeah, I heard. I heard it. Yeah, I heard yeah. it. Did. I'm watching that. And one that one, home. and that one, I I didn't expect either. I was like, Cal is gonna just no, okay. no easy with take no, care. No, of no. Him. Cal came in that first round on fire. Easy cleaned him up two and three. I'm going. Some to people watch. were saying a thirty, and I'm not mad at it. But I'm going I, to watch that when I leave. But if Serb but, don't show up, gun titles, man, I don't know. a little shaky. I don't know. Look. And Surf was supposed to have a harder time than that. Yeah. Let's pause this yeah. so he can get his yeah. ass over here. <laughs> yeah. I don't like niggas that go and win all weekend and then want to pop up in front of their friends. <laughs> like, right? What are you supposed to do? Get, go get low. Go we ain't get, seen this yeah, nigga in months. Yeah, nigga don't we ain't come seen this nigga. Go get around your little crib niggas. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Go get around some of them, you know what I mean? Look at that. Don't come here. <laughs> Look at that. Come and niggas up. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Somebody got to humble this man. We have a special guest in the building who's not really a special guest because he's part of the pod, but he's not part of the pod. He's part of family. He's not part of, I don't know. He's he's, he's, he's gang. He's gang. That's a microphone. That's a microphone. Fix it so we can hear you. Adjust yourself. I'm good. There you go. Get it right. Set it. This ain't rolling loud. <laughs> this ain't rolling loud. There you, you go. Now we hear Mike chat, Mike chat, Mike chat. You, you like it? Mike 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 All right. Another round of applause. We've got Surf here. My dog. Surf should be arrested for the brutal murder of JC <laughs> as we formerly knew him. He that then got hopped right on a plane. Like while JC was still rapping. <laughs> <laughs> he hopped right on a plane while JC was still rapping. Made it to Rolling Loud. Had on the silk Casablanca up there. A bit. Uh, shirt all the way unbuttoned. Yeah, uh, showing, show black yeah. black showing black shirt. chest. Showing black chest. Make some noise. Chest. 
for Sue Surf, or do we? Can we even still call him Sue Surf? I don't know if it's Mister Surf now. Nah, nah, not too much. Just, 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 just it's just, just Surf. I'm still the same person. Still, still I don't still want surf? no credit. For, yeah, I don't want no credit for just, Rolling Loud. We gonna go crazy. Let's celebrate. Pop bottles. I don't want no credit for JC though. Why? Why? I, mean, I told y'all for. Cause you never respected JC ever. Come on, some of these niggas that I'm beating now, I don't want no credit for some of these niggas. I've been so you, told to you, you don't even years. get no points for that. No, come on. You've been saying it though, like yo, you're I've just a pin. You, you, he's just a pin. I've been saying this before. Don't give me no credit for nothing. I'm supposed to. I don't I've seen pins my daughter, kick your ass up there before. You no, know, you've seen uh, Mount Rushmore, one of the best to ever do it, ever kick my ass. You okay. Ain't like we talking about loaded lux. He on. Oh, I was talking about Mount- No, stop it. That's no. That shit is terrible. Like. In today's day, I beat him. Should well, y'all have to battle today. It, no, if you watch it today, I beat him. His material is terrible. Well, I'd have to watch it. Back then, he yeah. kicked your ass. I mean, <laughs> you know, to each his own. But I'm not going to do that to Conceited. JC and Conceited shouldn't be in the same sentence Two either. Two different people. Tell us why Tell us why you never respected JC. I res- no, I respect and that's him. my man, yo. I respect y'all his know pen. I was big on JC forever. I still am big on his penmanship. Right, I respect and his ability his, to write. I respect his pen. You know what I mean? It's certain niggas I respect. Like, but people don't. What people don't respect is the intangibles in battle rap. Like, it's not like that no more. Like, hey, yo, let's all go down to the parking lot and all rap and everybody mm-hmm. around. It's not like that no more. It's a whole production. It's a show. It's you know what I mean. We was just watching um, like Pod. We had watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. We were, well, before we started, we watched a little bit of a uh, Swamp and 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 uh, right. Tay Rock and Tay Rock. And Ish was like, yo, why does he keep stopping after right. the bar? And we was explaining to him, like, yo, that's part of the shit. It's part now. of the show, ring IQ, things like that. Like, yeah. even like learning from y'all, like, it's a, it's a certain thing, it's pie etiquette. It's just it's like true. certain things you do while you pie and then don't do when, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shit like that. And it's the same with battle rap. You could tell, like, niggas just don't got it understood. I'm like, I'm watching somebody and I'll be like, I could tell that the way he practiced in the house is opposite of the way he's standing on stage. Like, small mm-hmm. shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, like with the, I'm right handed. So I normally practice. I, I perform on the left side of the stage. Mm. So when I'm performing, it's easier for me to turn and be directed at the crowd. Somebody else will practice. So now it, it's it's hard to explain, but you get what I'm saying. Like so now when they smack, practice, they go no. and they look at they looking at smack. You know what I mean? When he go to make his motions because he's a right handed battler, but he's on the wrong mm. side of the stage when he practice. So now when he's doing everything, you know what I mean? He's, he he yeah. actually when he go to do all his movements, he go and look at the crowd. Like, Your back is turned to everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, small shit like that where you could just tell you know somebody's ring IQ. You know what I mean? I learned some of that when Surf was attempting to coach me for the hollow battle. But the thing about this is certain things you can't coach. Certain things you cannot coach, right? True. So as I told these gentlemen, I didn't see none of the battles, but your battle. Uh, this is a Saturday night. My girl was in town. Oh. So I couldn't get on my normal. You know, normally I'd have been there from 3 o'clock yeah, yeah. just watching anything. But my girl was there. Dead. But my son is there, so I have a stern talking to her. I say, yo, today is summer madness. I know you don't know what that is, and I know you don't care. But at some point, surf is battling. No matter what you and I are doing, I have to see surf, and that's it. So so, so wherever we went, I brought my headphones, my good Sonys that I bought out the airport. We went to Legos, a restaurant. I'm sitting there with my headphones (laughs) just in case, right? So surf goes on. And this is why it's, this is why it's just fun to watch this stuff. Cause I only I need to see the entrance, the introduction, and the coin flip. There's a battle amongst the battle happening. The battle starts. So I'm home. Off. I'm home getting dressed. We gotta go. It's earlier than hey, that. I got I got right. I got to drive outside at eight thirty. Surf battle starts at eight twenty, eight fifteen, somewhere around there. And I'm laughing because it's all black. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No jewelry. Stone face. Get your shit off, JC. I'm here to kill. And JC went and it was cute. And my girl looked at me and said, I mean, you know a little more than me. What well, was that enough? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, baby, I don't think that was enough. I don't think that's going to do it. And then Surf started rapping. And I said, we can go. <laughs> That's what I said to her. Did I, you I looked at her said, No, I did finish oh, okay. it. But it was, I, I didn't need to sit I, I need to in my it. house I see, and I hold see my girl going. hostage. Right. I know exactly where this is about to go. Yep. Yeah. And yep. sure enough, that's where it went. And JC is my man. But as the battle went on, 
you could just feel it getting bad for him. And I knew it to be the case when when Surf turned the battle into a, into a, a show. This ain't even a battle no more. By the time we were leaving, because it took her about 10 minutes to get herself together, by the time we was leaving, she had to turn back at the TV and say, wait, uh, is the crowd chanting this nigga's words? Yo, they <laughs> sung this nigga's whole verse. See that stopping shit that you talk about? It's a skill. Nah, I peeped it. That's but... when you're good at it, it's for something. I got it. What? JC had to be dead before the end of the first verse. Yeah. I didn't think you had your strongest showing in the second that verse, was but the by worst, that point, that it was didn't, that was the worst matter. surf, and that was the worst surf in a year. Yeah, you yeah. probably got like in the second verse, yeah, seventy five percent, like yes. seventy five percent surf. That wasn't. I said that because if he it, couldn't kill you in that verse, then right. you wasn't about to die. I was talking to Daylight for like a half an hour before the battle. I said I'm gonna lift his soul in this first round, about the rest of it. Like just hypothetically, if we talking boxing, and I knock you out in the first round, and then me and you have stone cold even second and third rounds, you lost. Mm -hmm. You know the third I mean? round so, wasn't even at all. Right. I'm yeah. going to distance myself so much in this first so far, round. So no matter what you do. No matter what you do, all you could do is catch up. You know what I mean? And, and like I said, people don't... He lost the battle way I get into their head. You know what I mean? I make people feel like it's so much more personal than it is. Like, I never got angles. I'm never talking about what your baby moms did, which I don't care about none of that. I just come rap. But by the time they get to the battle, like, if you watch the face-off, it's just so personal with them that they come and they just had a worse lackluster shows. It's real slow. They talking mm. about shit that people, you know, the battle culture watch me grow up. They know mm. I got shot. They know I've been in jail. They know I, you telling them, like, you just rewinding. By you know the time I mean? the third verse came, I might have been settled at the restaurant or in route. <laughs> and this nigga surf is like, all you do is rap. You mean you cat and the Ninja Turtles, you take this, you throw in a little bit of that shit, all you do. I was like, oh my God, this is about to go bad for this rapper guy up here. Totally <laughs> <about> <laughs> don't kill my man like that, yo. Yeah, yeah was, don't, was, but don't do that to my man. Don't, I didn't that like that, yo. That I didn't necessary. like that. That was necessary. And then, Hart, and then, see, I think it was at the end of his second, at uh, JC second. Or, no, and anyway, you, 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 Whoever you was with, you was talking. He was like, "Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm just about to be quick." He was out. Yeah. He was talking about yeah. rolling loud. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yo, yo, we <laughs> he was talking about rolling. Yo, I'm out of here. Yo. Stuff like I'm that. not like, gonna like, do like, <clears throat> like I was laughing with, like I said, daylight about it. Like that's called like in battle rap terms, that's defense. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have much offense, which is my material. Right. But it's the small things in between the optics in between his rally. Like, he's saying certain shit. I'm slapping my towel down. Oh boy. I'm, I'm looking at my watch. You do the small things like that. Yeah. Like when he's rapping, I'm stone faced looking at the crowd. Yeah. Nothing moved me. That That's matters. defense. That matters. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have a good offense and a good defense. Like you could see me breaking him down during the battle mm -hmm. from the like, you know what I mean? Like, like rest in peace, like, you know what I mean? His mom's and stuff. Like he just recently, like, you know, like the end of the second round, I say some wild shit to the, you know what I mean? And it's like, you could just see everybody, like the people behind him, they deflate. Everybody mm -hmm. like, <sighs> everybody behind him start. And you could just see them wearing down and wearing down. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a tough fight. As a battler, though, do you kind of wish that his performance were stronger so the battle could have been viewed like in its proper light? I mean... Because when your opponent don't really do what he's supposed to do and you know you showed up, right. it kind of could take away from the classic it could be. At some point, yeah. Like I'm in, I'm in a space in the, in the culture right now to where it's like I'm worth the ticket. So I'm going to be able to get what I want regardless. But I needed that to get here. So I needed the Surf versus Khan, Surf versus Big T, Surf versus Hitman, shit like that. Conceded, can yeah, shine. exactly. I yeah. needed that then to make my stock what it is now. So now I don't care what a nigga come and do because like the, the, the card was sold out before they announced the third battle. You know what I mean? So it's, it was five battles. They announced the second one. It was sold out. So at this point now, you're going to come and show up or you're going to come and die. You know what else helps you is that period of time where you was just real, real Stupid, I'm calling it stupid. Right. They might other people might praise you for it, all that stupid shit you was doing. But in battle rap, that really helps. Like JC is spending his time saying, This nigga's fake, this nigga went to jail, came out, what street shit you got up. shot at? You, you, <laughs> what we don't respect niggas that got shot at. And I'm like, yo, but he really was stupid for a little bit. <laughs> like, that's not that's not penetrating the way that you think it is, because a few months ago we seen some footage that we shouldn't have seen. Like we just that ain't I mean, you gotta do something different. And it'd be hard for me to see surf like that because this is fucking, fucking surf, yo. Right. <laughs> it's fucking surf. But surf is all, man. I think what else helps is yo, that, that, that little stretch no where more, yo. you wasn't the best surf. For sure. No, nah, he looked like, that no, no, he looked like that stretch Infinity Stone surf where now. He was, it, was the Lux and, it was the Lux and the 40, that, that year right there. And Hollow. That, wasn't the, that was nowhere near the same time. That was I don't care. Year. I don't care. I'm saying it helped in 
who we see before us. Oh today. no, guarantee all, all of them. Every one of them shits help. You know what I mean? But yeah, that but Lux the, and that forty, like back to back. And then I sat down for a year, and I just got to watch it from an analyst perspective. You know, yeah. I became a fan more than I was because I'm not battling. So now I'm watching niggas. It could be the two random niggas because I'm just being an analyst doing my job, right. and I'm so enthralled into I'm into the battle now. So a nigga might stop early or, or not finish something. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I'm watching. So I'm like, oh, this is how they oh, feel when they're they... watching me. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I get it, but at a higher mm-hmm. level. So I'm like, all right. Well, I understand because at some point I was beating niggas with two rounds, and you start you do gain an air of arrogance. You know they treat you a certain type of way. The whole crowd splitting when you walk through all that extra shit, and you you know what I mean you get an arrogance, a sense of arrogance that's not necessary when it's like I could just come in here and just beat y'all regular. So fuck it, I'm a, you know what I mean. So I just judge it like that. I might not need the best material like Twerk. I was actually like threatened by Twerk. I was spooked of what he could have possibly did. Oh, so I came in there and I was like. I'm going to lift you up the ground three rounds. But JC, I never felt like JC could battle. Like, you get one round. And you did say that to us for a long time. And for you years, proved I've been it, for you years. proved it to be. John John Cortez, JC, it's certain niggas that's like, I don't give a fuck when it is, what it is. Like, you know what it is? Some niggas don't know what it's like to be like prey. Like, like you know, like, mm-hmm. when I'm, like when I'm out and about just every day, I'm just always... Just because just that's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? Naturally. So I'm always prepared. Proper preparation prevents poor. Whenever I see you, I'm going to treat you how... You know it. Like, you know what I mean? It's been times you'll just be in the bed. You just, He get a phone call. Hey, yo. Man, Surfing did some bullshit. Just because I saw it. Right. Niggas don't got to live like that every day. So by the time somebody... The phone uh, rings... Oh, look at you. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to cry. Oh, <laughs> but Finally, when, it sinks in. But when the phone <laughs> ring... You feel me? But when the phone ring for like a JC and they like, yo, it's time for surf. You're really not as ready as you was talking. You know what mm. I mean? Because you're not really on it. You're not looking over your shoulder every day. You're only looking on your shoulder after they call you and say, it's time for surf. Does right. JC get paid the most that he ever gets paid uh, because he's battling you? Guaranteed. Oh, so yeah, I don't care. I maybe don't care. Nah, you can't. Nah, the risk is not worth the reward. I've now, never seen him in a Mary hoodie before. You'll never see you'll never see <laughs> him on that stage hoodie. again. He might it never didn't fit him. He <laughs> might never main event a summer madness ever again. But if but if you in it, it's like fighting Mayweather. Can you, you know battle? Can you find Mayweather? It, 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 it's a it's a risk and a reward. It's a risk assessment. But if you do good against Mayweather, right. you don't get put on another card. Right. So if he even if he lost the surf, but it was a it's the man a nice little tussle. Lost. Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. That's the biggest problem. But if he if he lost the surf, but just in a little tussle, he still get booked. I think with battle rap, it's a little different though, because these niggas all are very confident. And niggas, you know, like a nigga like JC been walking around saying surf can't fuck with him. So if I finally and niggas wanted this battle for years and see and that's so why when you that, get it. That's where when ahead. you get that battle, it ain't just the this the most I ever made. So I could I'm not gonna say half ass it, but right. I'm, I'm happy because it's the most I ever made. No, I niggas wanted this battle, and I think he can't fuck with me. I'm gonna try to take his head off. No, but I'm, that's where the rappers gotta shut the fuck up. Would you like <coughs> to say like you rapidy rappers? You can feel like you rap better than the world. You should feel like that, and it's subjective. But if when it's battle time, you can't beat the niggas that you say are not rapidy rappers, and when it's music time, you don't make better music than the people you say are not rapidy rappers, then unfortunately, you have to now shut the fuck up. Can't say nothing. If Kendrick didn't have classic albums and classic records to go with the amazing rapping, it would go different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to, and that's what you just proved that JC shouldn't have been on the stage. Yeah, that's all I was saying. He should have been on It almost looked like for that to be summer madness, the the main event. It almost looked like JC was out of his league, and that sounds crazy saying about JC because he's an amazing pin. It just showed that it's ceilings to it. Like it's really ceilings to like it's certain. You get a certain group of niggas Mm -hmm. in this. You get a certain group of niggas in this room right here, and it's like, they'll shake this room if it's 13, 14, 15, and then it get levels to that. Like, you got hundreds, 200s, it's levels. Mm-hmm. 1,500, 2,000 people in the room. Now, we're not just talking about a pen. We talking about, we talking yeah. about now voice octave. We yeah. talking about performance. We talking about the way you say it, how you, you know what I mean? I'm willing mm-hmm. to spin around while I'm saying this. Like, what are you doing? Right. You sitting there trying to talk to me, and it look like you're barking up a tree. Like, you're trying to explain to me whatever you rapping about. Right. It don't look like yeah, that. It look like I'm telling that. everybody what it is. You know what I mean? So... Not Jay uh, through a monitor and turn oh Jay to Jay. Oh, my God. Like God. Like he breathed through a monitor. monitor. His new that. nickname would be... I didn't know you had that. That's some, Jay of, mouse, that's some of that mouse sauce. That's, that's disgusting. That's some of that mouse sauce. That's he wasn't, nasty. He wasn't rapping like that. Shut up, nigga. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even doing that. Jay Electrona is crazy. Chris Hansen. Mm, 30 on the Chris 9. Chris Hansen. Yeah. Chris Hansen would like... That was the one. That was crazy. Nah, it was getting... 
that's when it was like. I, I like to look that, at the, that was the first was that first round, right? That was all first. I get that I like yeah. Marion, Chris Hansen, the Jay spin Electronics. around like a Marion. That little juke that you did, that was funny. That was it all was, in the first. Like that's No, nah, but JC brought up a valid point. Or can you roll a blade? Like I meant to ask. <laughs> nice. I want to know. Yeah, I'm nice. See, but if that's the crux of your battle, then you lose. If the crux of your battle is coming in to attack my opponent for knowing how to rollerblade. All the cool things is rollerblade, though. Like, if you look up, if you feel me, I never rollerblade, knew you rollerbladed. Rollerblade, rollerblade. Yeah, I, that's I, still funny, though. That's what surf came from. That's <laughs> what surf started, like. Oh, Wait, surf what? Surf <laughs> yeah. Because you, you rollerbladed so well, it was like you were surfing on the nah, concrete. Nah, what, what it is. We, we all used to I learned be, something new every city, day. Yeah. We all used to be up at Route 22 at the skating ring, right? Uh, so it was like, good old like, like, too. You had different, like, clicks, like, different. Skate clicks like gangs. like Juice's wild, uh, Doka's, Joker's wild gangs. shit like that. So we was the super like friends. Skater gang. So you got like Iceman, Batman, Silver Surfer. Like I was surf first, like from skating. But I always like after skating, we would go right over to McDonald's and everybody start rapping. Or like Black Surfer, like not <laughs> Silver. Yeah. Silver Surfer, right? Whatever. I see what you did there. Yeah, and then Surf just stuck. And you can still rollerblade for sure. I might have put that in the line too, though. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta say it right though. Yeah, right, though. Rollerblade Yeah, he didn't do it right. Go to Central Park. It didn't land right. Can surf today battle verb? That's a waste of time. Verb, don't attack me. That's a waste of time for real. You don't attack me. I'm gonna get attacked. I shouldn't ask. Yeah, that's a waste of time. <laughs> that's why I asked. Tell the truth. How bad you think uh, Mook gonna do uh, Geechee? Why is your question? Why is that? Why I don't is, know why. Why is that the premise? Why is your question set up like that? Because that's what's gonna happen. You got you I can make a friendly wager? I disagree with that. Whatever you want. That's stupid. I disagree Whatever with that. Whatever you want to do. I bet, you would, I, bet you would say, I bet you were saying the same shit about Loaded Lux. I bet you. I bet you we were saying the same shit about Loaded Lux. I think Loaded Lux killed Geechee. <laughs> You're weird. I think he killed him. That's cat. Every time Lux kills somebody, the battle rap community want to act like it's not a body. Like when? <laughs> like when he leave Earth and the rest of the people like stay when, on Earth. It's no time that Lux oh, beat somebody. It. In. Stop it. Stop it. The only time where it looked nuts was fucking that uh that mook battle. And I don't count nothing from Total Slaughter, because I don't count nothing Paul Rosenberg ever contributed he, to hip hop. He, he lost to Geechee. That nigga Mook went crazy in it. He lost to Geechee. I, I agree. He lost to Geechee. No matter how you want to love, he lost to Geechee respectfully. Awesome. Well then he lose different. He do he lose. No, 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 he do. It don't cool. it don't but, be looking and feeling like a loss. What you mean? Like, bro, this is a sport. You it's got like, Geechee beating uh, Mook? I do. I well, mean, you got beef for Mook, so I'm done talking to you. No, that's not why, though, because I understand that. Like, I still I got an uh, analyst job and this shit, too. I can still break down the game tapes and understand why. Murder Mook does not, d does not perform at that level of which you have to be on at that stage. Like, for example, like, like if I say this, give me some type of content from Murder Mook that would validate your points to say that he can keep up with a Geechee Gotti, right? If you erase Murder Mook versus Tay Rock, we have no footage to back up your statement. I can show you Geechee Gotti versus Sue Surf. I can show you Geechee Gotti uh, and Tay Rock. I can show you Geechee Gotti versus Loaded Lux. I have the footage to back up the statements that I'm talking about. There's no content in which Murder Mook, you have to go back to 1999. There's no content in but which- But 99 happened. There's no content in you which- You can't erase 99. You cannot. You can't. 99 happened. You can't. But Jordan if, is the best, right? Know why? You're talking about the three-time champion of the year. 93, 94, 95 exists, and 96, 97, 98 You're talking about the three-time champion of the year as far as battle rappers, which is the biggest award you could get in battle rap. The three-time back to back They just back made to that back. award up. You know how long I was here? They made that. They making these new awards. I've been here for fucking 20 years kicking you niggas' ass. I don't care about your newfound Kick award. Kicking who ass? Kick Everybody who ass. ass. Kicking who ass? You a mook hater. You a mook hater. Mook hater for what? Y'all know, you know, you but know. But what would be the reason? You know Mook is is excellent at customizing his style to match this specific opponent. If and you don't think that's about watching, to happen? If somebody was watching this blog and did not know battle rap, they would be thinking you're talking about a different person. Anybody that keeps up with battle rap knows that Murder Mook has not given us any type of material that you're talking about right now, Joe. If we was on Patreon, years. I would call Mook right now. I'm not doing it right now. We got a party to get to. Listen, while you were gone... These niggas have been talking about everything serious under the sun. About serious shit? Us, right? Oh, my God. That's just I don't like us, serious shit. Just us, though, right? Oh that's just, us, just us, though, right? I'm so glad that's that you're back here to you talk just about it. narrative man. Just us, right? You were just in your Bugs Bunny bag. Yo, huh? I'm know. saying what I'm saying, and y'all can say it, anything that y'all want to say. I, I, I won't suppress what y'all are saying. I'm not suppressing what We don't have to talk at the same time. Like We can't talk and listen at the same time, right? I heard you. These brothers. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, hey, hey, brother. Ask him, was it just these brothers? Was it, yeah, was it just the guys? I, nigga, when am I serious? 
Okay. <laughs> what, do, what, what do I take seriously? So that's so. so ask what do him I to, take ask him to answer you yes or no. Was it just these brothers? Yes or no. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now what? Uh. <laughs> you can lie on camera. We all do it. Uh, what else is important? The girls are beefing. You said you want to get to it. No, I didn't say I want to get to it. I said that's your bag. <laughs> You, you said you wanted me to get to it. No, I said I'm pretty sure you'd want to get to it. That's your shit. Why would I want to get to it? Because you're messy Joe and you nah, like when I the girls beat. I got important shit that we need to talk about. Talk to me. All right, cool. And I've been thinking, I miss y'all, so I've been thinking about I'm like, oh, damn, I got to oh, wait boy. and talk to the guys about this. Bro, right? I don't care. Have, Just flush the have toilet. Have something serious ready soon. This is this. Okay, so listen. If sent, right? Like when you send mail, right? Uh, what is it? Uh, S-E-N-T, uh, right? Uh, yeah. But now it's change the is sent, right? It's what? It's C-E-N-T, right? But when you smell something, it's sent like S C E N T, right? Okay. So what the fuck is silent? In scent, like if scent is scent and scent and scent, you know what I'm saying? Like what's silent? <laughs> yeah. It's the best weed <laughs> yeah. ever, yo. <laughs> hey dogs. Nah, dead ass. Hey dog. Take it away. Talk hey. to me, ish. What's silent and scent? Hey. Don't do that again. <laughs> it's a motherfucker. Hey, yo. I thought you was going to talk about the toothless bad that went viral. No, let's, let's finish this girl beef shit. Ice. I want my... I talk... To, we got you. We'll tell you what's silent Just, and sent soon. All right. <laughs> you don't even know, though. That's a real valid question. You running around here saying a word that you don't even know. Never mind. Go ahead. What happened <laughs> with the girl beef? Why you're wrong is that I don't know what girls are beefing. Okay. You don't know. Who beef? I don't know. Okay. I know about Cardi versus Akbar. That's the girls. No? Not for me. Oh. Not for me. For me, the question becomes, and I've asked this to a few women, mm -hmm. so it's not just me saying, what qualifies somebody as a lady of hip hop? Because I don't know, I'm not familiar enough with Akbar. Mm. Nor about I don't know enough I about sure Akbar. Touch. From what I've learned, she's an internet sensation. She's been featured on a Nicki record, and she's been on Love and Hip Hop. Got to be a lady of hip hop if you want. If you want a Nicki record, you're a female rapper. Not true. I, not I couldn't disagree with that more. If you're on a Nicki record, you're not a female rapper. Couldn't disagree with that more. <laughs> I, I'm today, today, today there's mad different ways for people to appeal to different audiences. And there's a huge internet audience. So if someone has a following on the internet, I wasn't, I wasn't jacking that Saucy Santana was a, a rapper until the songs kept coming out. The songs I, kept coming out. I mean, I've seen her on bars on I-95. I've seen her rap before. That's Fam, why there's been mad girls to spit a verse. But so it, what makes you a rapper that don't, that don't make you a lady of hip-hop to me. So, and that's why I brought this up. So what does it? I'm, I'm curious. Like, what do you, right. you have, is, is it a certain amount of work you have to put out? Or is it is Ice Spice I, not I, a lady of so, hip hop? I, I think so. Right, like, great question. He said it's Ice Spice hip -hop, uh, lady of hip hop. Uh, I don't have enough info yet. I'm, from the looks of it, <laughs> I'm going to say yes. What? I'm, I'm seriously asking. <laughs> I don't have enough information because, that Because she could turn around nuts. and never put another song out again. And she still but got what a summer better than some but, people have ever had. Awesome. But if Doja Cat stops after Bitch, I'm a Cow or whatever that song was, then yeah. she's not a lady classic, hip hop. She's, she's not a lady of hip hop. But she kept going. When you keep going, so what's it's the not bar? about so the... How long wait, wait, stop. It's, it's what's not, the bar? It's, no, it ain't about the success. It's about every day you are waking up and working toward... Being a rapper, and I don't know that from these internet people. But see, but see, I don't know Joe, that. That kind of go like I said before. Today, they not working towards being a rapper. Today, I'm working towards getting hot via rap real quick, so that I can springboard like onto something hustle. else. So I can spin off and do something else. Oh, like like I'm, I'm not, but I'm not calling you a woman of rap or a person of rap in that. That's me. So now, but I want Fan, fans may. I'm asking I you, Joe. If you're using rap. To just leverage your notoriety or your fan base to come in and get a quick lip, a quick lick, and go. Not even really I'm not rapper. acknowledging you, me, and my great rapper ass is not acknowledging you as a rapper of any sort. So, because we don't know what these people are doing in their day to day. Because you said you have to be waking up every day trying to work towards that. My thing to you is, what's the? No, today the, we know what a lot of them are doing on a day to day because of Instagram and because of TikTok true. and because of. So everything. some of them are working toward. Being popular on these apps True. or Correct. going viral for mm -hmm. anything. That don't tell me that and you're working on the art of music. Hold up. That's what I'm saying. Hold up. 
and we, we've seen artists come out and complain about this. They're being directed to do that by the people that they signed to. Hey, we need you to go viral there first. We okay. need you to put a TikTok out. Every day you got to do something on TikTok. It's in your contract now. Cool, but contracts are also given to the person that don't really care about music anymore. So now you got the person that at level one, I wasn't making music, I wasn't working toward making better music or the art of music or any of that, but I got a deal because I'm popular. Mm, and now when I got the deal, they're instructing me, so I'm doing that. Still, none of that tells me that you are see, but, a woman of rap see, or a rapper or that you're serious about rapping. But then it confusing rapping. because it's like... Now let's take the girl that's trying to rap but don't make nothing, and then you got the one girl who got the song of the summer. So let's take the, I mean, that nigga Munch. If she's doing more, she's performing more and doing more in this one summer than a girl that's trying to rap who's constantly dropping shit, but her Instagram's not moving. You got one girl who's she didn't like, get the look yet. Yeah, but context is important here. It's not like this Munch girl popped up and was serviced a record or was ghost written a record. Or had a team or a writing we camp don't know how that to record come up. Came. We don't know. We, we don't know how that record came up. We know how to, it wasn't by any of the means that I'm saying. We don't have to do that. You think it was just her playing in the studio? Or or her and some hood niggas. I'm I'm sure she had her own, but it wasn't label writing. It wasn't I money. See what you're right, right, right. It wasn't money. She from Follow. whatever hood came up with some shit. It popped. It's working. The Meg freestyles in front of the Houston cars. Yeah. The blogs with it popped. It's working. Cardi had to do a whole lot before Bodak Yellow popped, started working. She continued. The girls that have seen success, like, they follow a, 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 they follow a path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Big girls that don't, like, there's mad girls that write verses. I consider Flo Millie to be uh, a woman of hip-hop. I yeah, know that wherever like she Flo is, Millie. every day, she's coming up with trying to be a better rapper or make better music or make her name known. Lady London, more of the same. Like, mm -hmm. there's mad girls that ain't popped. That I consider, uh, what's the Griselda girl? Armani Caesar. Armani Caesar. There's yeah. mad girls that ain't popped yet. You know that every day, they waking up, trying to get a better song, get with a better team, better producer, better video, and try to pop. There's a list of other girls that have verses and rap them in their car and sound fly. That's the extent of it. And that ain't <laughs> just girls. That's what I'm saying. That's all. That's, that's today, artists. that's artists, period. You got some artists that are trying to perfect their craft because I want to be good at this. Right. And then you got a whole nother crop of artists, like I said, that are, hey, man, if, if, I, can get, if I can get hot I on can TikTok, run. I can get hot there and do it. If I can get hot in rap, I can get hot there and where, do it. But, where, then, see, but you're I'm, not, you, where, you're just, where, you're not where counting Where I'm up. from, mm -hmm. we don't have many black men that typically fall under that. Where I'm from, all of the black men that rapped or started rapping was seriously trying to rap or get a deal or that's make not money. That's not they wasn't today's. trying to do it to just make a verse in the car. That's not currently today. Exactly. I'm talking about today. These niggas today are... Today you're going to come give, across... Give me the example in today that today. Go, today you're going to come across more artists that would rather have that one summer than have a full... Like nobody... Correct. The average... And I'm not saying like, you know, I'm a super duper but cold fan. But that's not replying to my point. Because to, to be a cold. But wait. They just want that one but, summer. But, but that's that not replying... No, hold it, on. Let me just reply to him. That's not replying to my point. Because to have that summer takes work. True. That's not always no, true. No, it's not. No, it don't. Give me an true. example. I don't want to put nobody names out there. But right. there's, jump, there's, we could bleep it out. Jumping, jumping we could bleep names out. Jumping on a YouTube beat and just going on a song that's already a YouTube song and it just and throwing your hat all the way up in the air and it never coming back down and then you look up and you hot. How much practice is that? We awesome. never heard of it. Bleep, awesome. bleep me out. Awesome. But we never heard of that prior to. We never awesome heard of nobody example. smurder prior to hot nigga. And I'm not, that doesn't mean he's not working. But we talking about example. why? What Bobby Smarter you know before Hot Nigga? Guess that what? looks like something that organically popped. And I would like to assume that's what you're talking about. The so person, there's no proof. There's no proof or evidence to show that Bobby was trying to be that of or there of a rapper. Sure, there is. It's every single thing that happened after, and that's my point about what you're saying. Everybody could throw their hat up to try to get hot. The people I'm talking about. You still have to figure out what to do once you get yeah, out. I'm not saying he. I'm not even saying he threw his head up to try to be hot. I'm saying he had. But a he moment. got hot. It he happened. Had, right, got he hot. had a moment. And no, know what happened after that? Another record came. A record deal came. A crew came. But that's a posse normal, cut came. That's wait, wait, hold on. He went when to jail. Record, came bro. home. But, said, "I'm still rapping." Nah. Oh, my label. My label ain't back at me. Guess what? I'm still rapping. Mad shit happened to tell us that Bobby Schmurder was dedicated to rap. No, they already had a crew prior to the song dropping. 
Yes. They was already rolling prior to that song. All them niggas was in that video. All them niggas was already rapping rolling and rapping together and had their own little clique and crew before that song popped. They was they was trying they to was make dedicated to rap. They was no, trying they to make were, no. they were, they yeah. was a bu- bro, they got indicted for actually being not rappers. They was running around being the that wild. Don't say that they not dedicated to rap. They were they were a bunch of little wild niggas in the city that just so happened like any of these other little That's drill what niggas. I keep saying. These All niggas these niggas, niggas now are not to rappers. Rapping. They no, they are actually happen. dedicated I want, to I, rapping I, about I, what they're doing I, outside. I, I, I want y'all to stop That's saying. I want y'all to stop saying now because that is at the inception of hip hop. What yes, y'all are saying That is true. That's not a now that's thing. That's not a now thing. It's always that's, had. That's it's from always the beginning been that had one foot in and one foot out. Every There's crew that you name from the, from the 70s and 80s, they were street niggas. So you know the difference? Hold on, hold on. You, you know, know the difference, though? Joe said that to me you're all the time. One if you got one foot in and one foot out, you're not focused on rap. You're that's missing, not true. You're you, missing you consider one yourself a hip hop artist. And I didn't consider that until I chilled. The part y'all are missing from the 70s. When you had one foot in, you still was a part of hip hop. Look, the part that y'all are missing from the 70s and all that to now is the money. Now niggas is looking at it as this is a lick. True. Facts. Ice. And I can use this and look at been it. Still it, wasn't, at it. it wasn't no money. No, he, he right. just saw KRS at the and very, say, what no at, money back then. But not at the very, very inception. KRS was talking about Sugar Hill Gang. But when KRS and MC Shan and Roxanne Shantae and them was running around, it was money. It wasn't the level of money that we get in today. Them niggas was getting a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars for a show. Nigga in the eighties, yeah. in the early eighties, that was money. Shan is looking at Big Daddy Kane like you getting money. Yeah, like them, that was money. <laughs> we looking at Big it's Daddy relative. Kane like he not getting money, but that nigga had a Nefertiti head the size of my kneecaps. Them climbing. niggas was looking at Eric, Eric B and Rakim. Like, like you getting money. Oh, yeah. right, y'all are getting Y'all niggas like $1,000 a show. In yeah. today's climate, the average, That's the average up and coming, in today's climate, the average up and coming <laughs> artist is looking for that moment more than they're looking for a catalog. I would agree. I would agree. Only, and they're looking for that moment for what? No, I would agree. To go viral, that, like for viralness, cloud. I would agree like with that? that. Be based on the internet presence, right? But v- going viral or the moment back in the day was just a different right. moment. They still was searching for the moment, right? They they might have yeah. been searching to be on fucking Ralph McDaniel's and and, and Jimmy um, Fallon mm-hmm. yeah, you get what I'm saying? Nah, not even yes, not, it's Jimmy ish, Fallon. Ish. We talking about Ralph McDaniel's was it in the black community, right? You know what I'm saying? So that was your moment. But look, back then. I was. I'm looking to get on as a rapper, you know, to I'm, do more. To do, yeah. I want to be a rap. I want to be a rap star. I want to be. I want to be. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. You're right. But today, you're saying to do more. What? There to do more is. I want to deal with Popeyes. I want to deal with McDonald's. I want to be on CSI. I want to be on this. I want to be on that. I'll it's just this. the levels have grown. I tell you this: it's way more one hit wonders today than <laughs> it was back then. You think that's based on the labels or based on the artists? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, don't know about I, that. I, I personally, I feel but, like that. But I his, think it's but his premise is correct. I see where he's going. Mm-hmm. I don't know that he's right in saying yeah. that. No, we don't but, know if it's right. But his I premise think is it, correct. It's more based on somebody get like we're watching more artists get that record. And not even need another one. In the seventies, let, let me just talk about the labels not developing them. You needed to actually be a singer to secure. A, a contract record contract which is the talent. same with rap when it happened you needed to be a rapper produce sure. music sure. to be today you need to you're be marketable right. you have way more people who realize chubby, you don't have to be that to do that can sure. we sell you the chubby kid at Walmart can, can yes. go on TikTok go viral and have a song and we can burn him out this summer and not have to talk about him next summer the odds of that happening today is way more where the regular like Ice Spice can be regular last week and then be popping this week mm-hmm. we burn her out this summer and don't have to hear from Ice Spice that's next true. summer that's going on way more right now if you had a record back then we're still going to try you if you Hey, baby, we're still going to try you a couple more times. We don't have to try you again now today. Yes, if your gram catches fire, all we need you for is a split second. Yep. That's it, because you're now we're going we to sign you, lock you down, uh-huh. tax write you off, and it don't matter what make, you do. Well, make, you speak speaking for the label money. side That's of that. the label, though. But on the artist side of that, no, the fight is exactly the same. Yeah, you came up with whatever you came up with to get this attention, i.e. Ice Spice. But when the heat from this song die down... Guess what she got to do if she's dedicated to making music? Go, go and get another if, if, she, she's dedicated if she's dedicated. To, because at the same time, she's gonna be, she could look there. Guess what she has to do. But look, if, answer my question. Oh, she's dedicated? Yes. Yeah, she, she would have to come up with another one. Right. Now, if I got hot off of this song, but now got a part in this new movie coming up. I got a oh, TV shit. show oh, over there, here. Oh, there, I Rihanna wants me to Fenty. I'm, I'm now ahead my rap. Life. You're right. But the odds of that it's taking not, place with... 
one single, that's 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 an outlier. That's and, not the norm. And, 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 and hold up, let that's me not the norm. That is. Fuck, what did he just say? Fenty, um, Ice Spice. No, oh, oh, that it's not designed to be that way. The by pure design, it goes against what you're saying. And see, I think now I'm it's Ice been Spice. changing I'm to be that way. I'm in my house. Way. It took me my whole life to come up with. I've been rapping this since I was 12 uh -huh. to get me this moment. Now my phone is off the hook mm -hmm. nonstop. How did all you people even get my phone number to reach out? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I better get somebody to handle some of this. Right. Uh, you go get a manager. Mm. I don't know if she signs a production contract. Did she get the right lawyer to figure some of this shit out? By the time she come in to get the movie part, because the, the movie people are not going to knock on Ice Spice's At door all. without some of these things set up. True. Sure. So no, what's, what's back happening? To, back to right. that earlier point about representation. That's true. It's behind every push, there's a Steven Victor. Behind Vince, there's fucking... Uh, Behind the niggas that's... Huh? Yeah, Corey. Behind the niggas that's getting to it is somebody back there doing that. And now you're talking about your percentages are being... And, and so this is the design of it. I'm about to say, the, the, the new design is, here's the 360. If you got in that movie, if you Man, are in you. that movie... We'll put you here, 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 How here, did you get here. in that movie? We use this to get you hot, we put you everywhere else, and we still eat off of everything. Who is being paid right. from that movie? How much did right. you walk that's away from? That's what's happening. Yeah, we'll put you everywhere now. We're gonna use rap to get because, you like, hot. My thing, that's what I'm saying. And like, your ice, sex appeal. Like, the hot mo like right now. Just, I just feel like man, the hot moment the right now in today's day. If you go hot off a song, they're actually thinking about doing everything, everything else, else with but you. another like, song. You know, back then, that's what I'm saying. If like if Hurricane Chris make a song, we're actually getting him ready the for the next one. Let's get some more records mm -hmm. now. Man, let's get him the best Chris producers. Song. Don't get him mad at Let, me again. Let's get him more producers. Let's get him the best. Right. This, if, this, right. If, put I guarantee you, you that if, nobody in that Ice Spice Girls corner right now is telling her to stop making music. No, of course no. not. Of course not. But I bet you what they're not looking for. I bet you they still munch. Like they're looking for. They're pushing that song. They're not beasting about another record. They're trying to make that. They're trying to expand that song. No, 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 no. They already stop, got that song. Stop, stop, that stop, 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 stop. Because people have to understand the design of this. She created that song and owns it 100%. Now it's bubbling. There is a world that recognizes the value in it bubbling. So we're going to try to put some type of contractual agreement in front of her. And she's going to sign it. Mm -hmm. And then opportunities will start to just come out the wazoo. But that is the setup here. For your song to get where you want it to go, you're going to have to relinquish something Absolutely. to somebody or, de or deal with it being popping in the Bronx. Popping regionally. Yeah, I, I think it's all the same. I, um yeah, we might be going when you circle, yeah, you, no, when you just put the right, when so you put the internet jump into ball. it. No, when you put the internet into it, it's just a different strategy to get the same result. What? I think that. Jump ball, what else is important? Or unimportant? Shorty with the teeth with the big Oh butt. Jesus, Mary <laughs> and Joseph. Well, you see the little chick went viral? She don't got she like she went viral on Twitter. She don't really got no living room, but she thick as hell. <laughs> Yeah. New job, new Okay, uh, what is the living room? Her teeth. Her t you want us in the camera and snatch that shit? All right. I'm, but hey, look yo, though. You need to go back. Where, where her <laughs> living room go? Run us in the camera and snatch that shit up. But she thick as hell. Come on, you planning that? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Come on. And you, you have elevated the past that too. You shouldn't be fucking the teethless chicks. I ain't say I what. You didn't you say did, you wouldn't. You did say you yeah, would. You definitely, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You said you would. <laughs> <laughs> you bug it. You no, I thought put I a little girl. lay rug in that living room and uh, a little what rug? A little lay rug. A lay relax. rug. Oh, she don't like, got no, no couches. I'm doing. T wait, this is what's her name? Who that? That's her? Yeah, that's her. I'll follow her. Yeah, look, that's cool. I'm, that's a nice Oh, yeah, that would happen. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, real. I wouldn't tell nobody, though. <laughs> you don't got to tell nobody. I didn't know she was toothless. She ain't got no teeth? Yeah, she don't got no living room, big bro. <laughs> she can get something from you. Brand new. <laughs> brand new. Yeah. Brand you'll new. Put, put some couches right Podcast in there. companies are buying millions of listens through auto-playing episodes populated in free mobile games. Mm -hmm. iHeart, I top heart. podcast <laughs> publisher on PodTrack, has bought around 6, six million seven. unique downloads per month since wow. 2018. Yep. You don't per say. Month. I had it on my list. Sheesh. I ain't, I ain't really know what the ramifications were, but yeah, I had it. That's Podcasters are always hunting for new flashy places, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, some networks, though, have uncovered a less glamorous yet highly effective way to gain millions of bankable listeners, loading up mobile games with a particular kind of ad. Each time a player taps on one of these fleeting in-game ads and wins some virtual money for doing so, they said loot on Bloomberg. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, virtual money for doing so, a podcast episode begins downloading on their device. The podcast company, in turn, can claim the gamer as a new listener to its program and add another coveted download to its overall tally. The practice allows networks to amass downloads quickly by tapping into a wellspring of hyperactive video game users. Mm -hmm. But it also calls into question who a legitimate podcast listener is and what length of time should be required to count as a download. Not all impressions are created equal, said Larry Chishasharish, whoever he's a marketing professor at Pace University. <laughs> I'm not saying this tactic, this tactic is not ethical or illegal, but it raises issues. If someone is trying to play a game and that's the purpose of this interaction, they may just be eager to play the game and are not that interested in the information being shared. True. Sure. <laughs> My question is, is anybody shocked? No. No. <laughs> That's not good. Streaming farm for podcasts? Who would have guessed? Yeah, I thought that was Joe, Joe would have. <laughs> Everyone guessed, guessed that they would have guessed. Yeah. Why? Why would you have guessed that they would? Oh, you're saying you would have guessed? Yeah. Have, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I always thought it was like. I thought you said like you're shocked at that. I thought it was like, I always thought it was like, like what? with music Me? and everything. <laughs> music that, that's, yeah. that's why I, was I always felt like it was some little like factory in China and they just got like a bunch of like iPads. Like, no, they had it. What's in You know, uh, like a bunch of iPads taped against the Michael, wall. They just press play on all them shits at the same time. <laughs> it ain't even, like, even like that no more. The Michael, podcast like, networks yeah, sure, that are yeah, actively computer. mining downloads in the mobile game space are doing so through an intermediary company called Jun Group, which was founded in 2005 and sold to Advantage Solutions, Inc., a marketing and sales that company. Like a scam. Huh? That yeah. sounds like a scam. In 2018. <laughs> who, who just bought Corey them? Corey Wiener, CEO at Jun Group, said the company specializes in making consumers aware of products, websites, and podcasts by placing its ads in over 1,000 mobile apps that collectively reach 100 million <laughs> unique users. <laughs> So I'll be pissed off playing Candy Crush and fucking Joe Button podcast. Come on, <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, so they just put it anywhere, like just placed it in between yeah. games. I don't do that because I'm be number one. You don't. What? I'll be number one anyway. Some nigga. bullshit come on the pod. Yeah, like, what well, that's might. gonna make me super number one? Nah, <laughs> might, <laughs> might make you super one hundred million. Right. Listen, then you gotta go to sleep with how you got your money, man. I, I, I will sleep all right I'll if I had hundred million. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I, I'm, way I'm way sure it is. Way. That 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 statement will always be true. It's worst ways to get it. For me, it was never valuable to purchase Twitter followers right. because when I needed to sell something, I needed to know I was selling to people that were there. Me faking my own numbers to go out and raise my raise my a raise, false sense of security. especially as somebody that's already doing pretty all right. Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not a plan of longevity for me. No, it's really not. Makes sense. That was people doing doing that shit. So then, when it comes time to start moving an audience, how do you move a ghost? Right. I see both sides. How do you move somebody that don't really exist? Well, if you got a huge bag because the ghost existed, yeah. then I guess that would, the no mentality would be fucking. Can't get no logistical numbers off of. Yeah. Fake. They changed that. I but, agree with but you. Four niggas was just caring about the follower count. I'm not, I'm, exactly. I'm not knocking the people that engage yeah. in this or I'm participate in this. I'm saying for me, my ideology never lined up with. Faking. Yeah, remember, that, remember, that, remember that day? Uh, I forgot who it was, but the, the website came out that showed you who had fake followers. Yeah, that was awesome. That was the best damn internet. <laughs> it really was. No, the be no when internet took the uh, when Instagram took the fake followers. Yeah. Oh yeah. When they took the fake followers, and now hey, whoever's there, that's really y'all. Oh, that was fun on the internet. Niggas, niggas was we sick. Some, we had some fun times last decade on the internet. Yeah, I don't know did. if this decade is going to match up. Nah. nah. It's almost impossible. To the fun times. The we internet had. was crazy. Or the day that, uh, it was like the internet the was day being that born, it felt like. Twitter did some type of glitch shit, and then everybody that you had blocked was immediately unblocked. That was, oh, that was funny, that too. That was another one. That was funny, too. <laughs> Them niggas, you and Wale caught it. <laughs> it's like, yo, we here now. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. Yeah, you know what? Late later on, I eventually made it my business to try to unblock everybody on Twitter I that too. I had ever blocked. Well, back when I was, I haven't been on Twitter in about a month, but 
So you, you don't got nobody block? This girl changed his whole life. His a lot has changed since you since you gone. We're gonna talk <laughs> really about it though. We're gonna talk about the Patreon or something like that. Fam. A lot has changed. Fam. His girl's on his lock screen now. Oh, uh, yeah. He thinks <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, a seven day week yeah. is really four days now. Uh, what else? I don't know what that one. Fuck. That was shade. Yeah, that it's was not shade. No, he's, he's, he's creating that. No, last pot. He, he the last pot and came out of his mouth. He, he said, "Yo, my, my my week is so short now." It's like, oh shit, she stole the days. Screensaver though is happy. My, my daughter stole the days. Yes. Don't blame your daughter. Y'all. I'm not. Screensaver is different. Don't try, don't try to serious me out. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't let try you create the serious. narrative. Don't then. try to serious me oh, out. Oh my bad. We, we love narrative your daughter. Away. We're, we're lying. I'm narrative about away. my girlfriend all day. What you said? You have to like. Screen, you got a girlfriend? Screensavers. I'm thinking about my girlfriend <laughs> all day. Like that's all day. That's crazy. Your girl's on your phone? My screensaver no. Oh okay. That's a little hectic. I'll take it worse. The new the new phone the screen don't cut off. So, so she always there she looking always, right at you. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, new phone. Let me see. Don't even cut off. Screen don't cut off. Jump ball. <laughs> Nobody ever runs I'm, to center court. I'm going to tip the screen. <laughs> Nobody <to you. laughs> ever runs to center. Who the Yo, fuck fam, is JaVel McGee here? You're your screen don't cut off all day. So you just see her all day and I don't then go home and got to see her. Day. I don't look at my phone all day. That's wild. But every time you do pick it up, you got you're reminded that you're in a relationship. No, it's not. I don't need to. I ain't forget. I just like having on my screen, my nigga. That's all. So what? Ain't nothing wrong. That's, that's all. That's it. That's it. Sorry. I, I just enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm y'all can put whatever y'all want on y'all screens, on your phones, and whatever. I'm gonna put what she, I want she's on. She's throwing mine. it on this nigga. Yeah, she is putting I mean, that shit. Say. That. <laughs> she is throwing it on. Hey, man. she fucking life is that. short. Oh damn, I sunshine. Had to fucking say that. It was gonna be funny. Life is short. How you know when your new girl's fucking you better than your old girl? How do you know? Damn. I'm asking as a man. How do you know? Hmm. <laughs> I'm you need about three goals. Huh? You need about three shots. About three? Yeah. You don't think more than that? Like with your old girl? <laughs> your new girl got to fuck you a few more times. Maybe three, about yeah. seven. Right, like seven. seven. I'll give like you seven. Because yeah. that yeah. first two, you be like, Oh, first yeah, two. They all fucked up. Yeah, they all fucked up on the first two. That first two, boy. First two, the reason. First two is the interview chip. You know what I'm saying? You got to be to fuck up the first two. You fell in the Hudson on the first two. You are bad. You fuck up the first two. You fell in the Hudson on the first two. Um, Fifth yeah, and six, though, about is like week. she yeah, like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once we start getting around fifth and six, now we start mad about do you come when I call? Like, do you jump up as soon as I say, nah, like, bring your ass? Like, I'm giving you that. All that start matter. All that matter. That's the other, I told you, that's the other, one of the other reasons I had to stop cheating, man. You go out there in the streets, these bitches ain't touching you, right? <laughs> these bitches ain't touching you, <laughs> right? Just go ahead on back home, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Be mad yeah, at you so like, bad. Like, 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 you know, I'm not going to lie. Get <laughs> off me, bitch. It's nothing worse than wasting a cheat. That's what I'm selling now, we buddy. Yo, yo, welcome true. back. Welcome back, yeah, buddy. I like a lot of wasting the cheese. Finally, yeah, some real shit. Cheese, yo, do you have cheese. fucking sour patches on my white yeah, brochet? Right. <laughs> this is, you blocked that. I, 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 I don't I'm get these shits off Come my on, fucking y'all. white couch. This is alpaca. It's like if you don't pass some shit. Nigga, here, yo. Nah, that's a good topic, yo. Candy? Don't fuck, like, don't fuck up your good cheat time. Wasting a cheat is overly disgusting. That is true. Come on, now we immature. We'll talk about it on Patreon. You can't. Uh, all right, man. Hey, yeah. Rest in peace, Tony Thompson. I think that was the lead singer's name on High Five. Yo, real good pod. I hope y'all enjoyed yourself out there. We got gang back here. Glad to see Surf make it back safe and sound. Did what he had to do out here so there was no clowning him. I told him no coming back if you lost to JC, and he That's did true. what he had to do, man. Glad to see Ish here after the Cowboy Giant game. Thank you for joining us, man. We appreciate you. <laughs> awesome. Let me hear you out there. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll get it together one day. Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Listen, it's such a good time. Yes, it is. And when you get next to me, you make my heart beat fast. You do me bad with your smile. When you smile, man. And with your smile. You wasn't singing along before, nigga. Shut up. Love. Come on, it's a little light skin anthem. Get your shit off, ish. Wait a minute. Man, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu, farewell, adios, hasta la vista, arrivederci, au revoir, so long, goodbye.
God damn, breath control, kicking my ass. <laughs> Wait a minute. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Also, check me out on AMP each and every Monday and Thursday from 5 to 7 Eastern Standard Eastern Standard Time. And it's New York fall. It's scully season. It's hoodie season. Men, protect your closets out there. Hey, <laughs> in, inflation, hit, inflation hit everywhere. Them hoodies are expensive. Fact. She ain't just grabbing the N1 hoodie no more. Nah, never. She ain't just grabbing the fucking <laughs> Russell hoodie anymore. Yeah, no. Is- they want the good one. Yeah, yeah no. We, we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we definitely going to talk names. about it. Y'all hold it down, man. September is leaving like it has somewhere to be. We will be in October before you know it. We love each and every one of y'all. And it go... I like... Is this another Babyface production? This record? Oh, Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley. Them two niggas together? I don't think I've had an amp session where I didn't play a babyface written record. I'm sure. Honestly. Like, he is the man, man. Shout out to Babyface. He got a new album coming soon, too. Hey. Mm. Hey. Yo, after uh, Summer Madness was over, what battle rappers was getting pussy in uh, North Carolina? <laughs> and what battle rappers wasn't? I don't know. I left. <sighs> well, what the group chats were saying, the battle rap group chats. I ain't in no fucking battle rap group chats. Yes, you are. <laughs> you in a few battle rap group chats. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, why y'all don't... Yo, that, even if that's a lie, that's perfect to clown on. Help me. Oh, no. Nah, you in a few battle rap group chats. Come on, let's just make up names. Nah, I was about to call it the head. <laughs> let's make up the names <laughs> of these group chats. I was nah. going to hell. I ain't in no battle rap group chats. All right, fuck y'all niggas. Yeah. Hey! Shout out to the Patroni. Shout out to YouTube. Shout out to wherever you might be. Hey! We gone, yo. Until next time. I like the way you love me. Yeah, real, real niggas do the ad libs on the outro. Best part in the world. That's without the streaming farms. That's without the gamer niggas. <laughs> That's Shout without pandering to the right. <laughs> Wait a minute! This was the first version of that 40 underwater shit. Just drop the drums out, let the chords ride. <laughs> let me give him some new ad libs over this. I like the way I. Oh. Hey. Yeah, it's, I'm a real musician. I know the words to the end of the song. I'm not you. you I don't get my sleepers from Alex, nigga. Respect me. When I got a sleeper from Respect Alex. Respect me, nigga. Man time. The song, nigga. Man times. Man times you got a sleeper from Alex, <laughs> nigga. New Ice Play Park shit by mistake, I play y'all's too. <laughs> 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 <laughs>